I'm so unprepared, it feels like. It's like I just woke up or something. I didn't though. It's already like 7 p.m. here. All right, let's see here. Plugins, the, there we go. So what are we gonna look at today? Where were we at last time? Since last time, actually, guys, I've been uh, working on... Uh... <laughs> so where, what are we gonna do today, brain? Today, we will conquer the world. Stimpy? Who is the handsome gentleman over here? We are going to rule the world! Exactly. <laughs> Stop, Celia. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so since last time, actually, I went ahead and did something I should, so I'm not supposed to do. I worked a bit on stuff outside of uh, stream. And the only thing I w w did was I actually cleaned up a bit of the... Like, I did added no feature or anything. I just basically... Um, I made everything a bit more neat. So you have nicer folder structures. If you go to characters, we have like begin update, update character. We have like mechanics, like separate folder and stuff like that. So everything is getting more. Uh... So, and then I also moved so that everything down, doing with attack, for example, is here in one file. It used to be in uh, the, con the get gamepad. Sub Costa, sub dream blocks. Welcome to the stream. Today we're gonna uh, work on the game, maybe do some uh, dog dancing, who knows? I need to actually find that video again. But uh, I'm not gonna be a rash, I'm not gonna be uh, dancing all stream. I'm just gonna be dancing when you host, so. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, Thursdays, they're the new Mondays, I think. Let's see here, YouTube. I should download this video, actually. So, what's up guys? What are you working on? What are you doing? <laughs> Before starting, so you should do an entrance dog dance as a Simbi. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, I, I, I can play it actually. Let's see here. Dog, I think it's dog meme. There we go. Oh, my dancing skills. No, dude. They, they've gone downhill since last time. Like, tremendously. I don't... I don't even remember what it was. Ah, yes. Yeah, solid, Celio. Sorry, dude. No. Ah, sometimes you get into a fight. It's okay. We had a bit of a fight in Discord. I hope you guys can uh, hash it out. I mean... I do think she meant well, but then you got into this back and forth. Um, but yeah, guys, try to, uh, you know, respect each other, you know, sheep respect Celio, he's doing art, yes, you know, and, uh, you know, and Celio also respect sheep. I mean, I don't think the numbers thing was supposed to be, uh, meant as a insult or anything, but then it went down to insults and stuff, so. But now, to, uh, commemorate that happening, we will, uh... We will dance the dog dance. Check, uh... Oh, Astralize. Welcome, by the way. I don't know, have you been here before? I don't recognize you. Maybe you were from a rash history. Uh, I'm not doing all that much, laying down on bed wide awake 2 a.m. How about you? Oh, are you from, uh... 2 a.m., that's like... 5 hours. You must be in Asia or something. Um, yeah, a hot discussion, yeah. There's the things, there's sometimes people are having a hot discussion, everybody else sees it as a fight, and then, uh, you know, actually it's just someone really loving debating. Um, I'm the type of person, like, if I get really, really excited, I love debating. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, you should, insults nobody needs. Australia. Australia. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to try. Uh, welcome. I don't I don't think we have that many people from Australia yet, so you might be the first one. Welcome to the game dev community. Sure, I can take a look at a screenshot, of course. Um, 
let's see here. But first, uh, a Simbi requested a dance and we need to remind people that we are the Shiba people. So we have this Shiba song uh, with, uh, it also ha in, uh, has a Corgi. Let's see here. Oh yes, you can see it. I wonder what the volume is. Maybe we should put it on full. <laughs> it's like, what the hell am I doing? I don't even know. <laughs> I, I can't beat Star. I mean, come on. Who can beat Star in dancing? Simbi's requesting the ultimate. <laughs> and then commercials for Conan O'Brien, Dark Souls. <laughs> How did you do that one? Australia. Come on, Gunner, come on, let loose. Strip that shirt off. Oh, crap. I oh, better not strip it off. I'll get banned from Twitch. <laughs> I get banned when Bjorn says my last name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, dude. I don't even know your real last name. I'm just coming up with stuff. Chillax, people. Chillax. Have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. So, what I did was uh, refactor. It's a boring term for um, reworking everything you did. So, for example, if you go to Collision, our Collision script is much shorter. It doesn't have gravity in it. Oh, sorry, ground checking. Uh, ground checking is, is grounded check. So we did some of that stuff. And I actually haven't tested it out. It might have broken the whole game. Let's hope not. Let's press play. <laughs> Kaidajin says, Don't worry, Bjorn. Just shake your hands under the camera and you will look as you're dancing. But no one will see you awkwardly dance since it's hidden. Exactly. I'll just be like... What do they know? What, what? If I'm just shaking under the camera, you know, that can also be taken as I'm doing something else. I should get the arms in the camera so people see that, hey, hands are above the, above the waistline. <laughs> Let's see if this works anymore. So I can press. And it doesn't. We have an error. We have created errors. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's all over. And I don't even know what this is. <laughs> it's in the camera step normal event. Mm, we can check it out. <laughs> yes, refactor and hoping not everything is broke. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I didn't have a controller with me, so. <laughs> this is what you get when you think you know better, but you don't, which you never do. The day you know, you, you think you know better, that's the demise of everything let's see here all right all right so it was in the step event it claims and it claims character states it says variable system not set before reading it eh? oh so system is in this view right and system is a is a persistent so that exists. And then let's see here. <laughs> let's see here. I did change the character object. Let's see here in, in the create everything is it says init character, but that's been there already a long time with a lot of crap that needs refactoring. Here we're setting this. Let's see here. What else could it be? Test area. What is this? Delete that. Maybe that was our problem. I can't play it. I don't. I don't understand it. What? What are you trying to play? I'm a Minecraft player. Okay, I'll take a look, Costa. What are you sending me? Uh, let's see your Discord. Here we go, Imgur. Oh yes, I am gonna shoot the trees. Um, so this is your new game? 
Terraria is not a Minecraft game, it's a Castlevania game. Yeah, I wouldn't compare Terraria with Minecraft. I actually went into, when I first saw Terraria, I went in with this attitude that, ah, oh, this is like Minecraft, and I started playing, and then quite fast, you got confused and lost. But you get, you know, you get like 2% advantage from playing Minecraft. But yeah, um, so uh, what do you want? What do you want feedback on, Costa? It's easier to know what I'm looking at. So this is this. I think I've seen this before. It's your shooting game. What are you gonna shoot in it? Um, of course, the graphics are simple, but I know you're no artist, so I don't know if you want art comments. And then you would probably send it to Arash, not my me. The game doesn't. I don't know if is this working. You should send a. You should send something in for our Tuesday show. So let's see here. If I now press enter. All right, another. Up and down, that shouldn't exist anymore. Exactly. Character not set for reading in jump. Exactly. One more thing. So what I did is, actually, I can also show you guys this. I know its code is not the most exciting thing. Oh, it's fine. Let's hope it's saved that. Nope. We re-added that. Save it. So uh, when you get controls, I made it much more clean. Like we had all these timers and all that kind of stuff. Now it's really just reading uh, all this stuff. Uh, let's see what you're doing. Discord is playing Terraria. <laughs> I feel like a hipster, says Kittage. Are you a hipster for playing Terraria? Yeah, uh, Costa has been doing a survival game in 3D, but I think he recently switched over to Game Maker. And he was trying to send us the games, so... But uh, we didn't have time on last Tuesday, and I didn't find the link, so... We'll play it next if you just send it to us in time, Costa. Just do it! Do it! So I, I uh, made it a bit more pretty. And this should actually be vertical axis. But this is uh, the gate keyboard, and then this is the... And that's vertical, yeah. So that should be... So now instead of up and down, not crap like that. Actually, we should check, did I multiply it with movement? Yeah, I'm not doing that here now. That's also going to create a bug. Crap, I better fix this fast. So here's up and down somewhere. Times movement speed. Oh, crap. We have created lots of errors in our game. That's what we've done. Have you ever messed with mobile, uh, messed with mobile ads integration in Unity? No, I haven't, I haven't done that. I haven't made any games with mobile ads yet. Um, I think a lot of people use the Unity integrated, like Unity's own uh, ad system. Actually, the people who make the ad system are in Finland. I could, we could maybe go talk to them someday okay so welcome to the stream where we start with fixing bugs I should have checked this before the stream uh, we don't need this though we don't need this so our problem is the camera is not now moving let's see here if you go to Let's check first what, um, so we are in the mode that should be falling. So Kyden is saying, I'll probably submit my game for the next time. I need some advice since it's not done yet. I'm still not 100% sure of what to do with it. Cool, dude. That's when you need advice, you know, when uh, you're not done with it. Once you feel like it's done, there's no point in giving feedback because then the regular answer will be from people. It's like, well, yeah, I could do that, but I already did this. And then you have the sunk cost bias where... You know, you already spent 600 years developing your game. There's no way you're going to uh, change it. So this is another error. Let's see here. That's not an error, but that's a bug. Um, so the camera is not moving. Let's check that. Um... Oh, wait. The thing I deleted was actually the camera, I think. Because now there's no camera here, I think.
So actually, we might just have a bug here. So, not set for in camera step normal event. So, in the camera, the step, it's trying to access the players. And it is getting it, so it's weird that it's saying can't get it because it should only do it if it can find some players. Let's see here. One thing I hate about Game Maker, you change this code, launch the game, and you realize you created a bug. So you're like, oh, I was just load the file, but Megan says the file automatic once. Oh, I will load the file, but the Game Maker says the file automatically once you launch the game, so I still have the bug. Save, you mean, maybe. Um, I don't think it saves. It actually doesn't save until you press OK. But yeah, but that's everything, you know. If you create a bug and you save it and stuff. But of course, the good thing is I use version control. So if I want to go back, I can go back and see what I did changes so I can figure out the bug. But this might be something to do with um, if I go to... In the test area, it might be something with execution order. This is last though. Hmm. Oh no, we are stuck on a bug. We can't even play the game and show it how how uh, sucky it is to you guys. All right, let's see here. So all this works. It just says that the System dot unknown variable not set for reading it. And so the character states exists, right? Let's go to camera here and the step event. Let's just comment all of this out. I haven't used Game Maker in forever before you existed them for sure. Yeah. I haven't been using Game Maker for that long either. So there is there. So let's start looking at what could be causing it. So it's probably in this part, right? So it's the it's saying that here in this sentence. So let's see here. If I just Start. Weird that it works now. Yeah, we need to uh, multiply the the here. We are not multiplying the with movement speed, so we should probably put this also code somewhere else. I just saw the Krieg. Craigest video. Sup, Mario? I can't get out of my head. God help me. What is the cry? What does Craigest mean? I'm from Finland. I don't know what those fancy terms mean. So we broke the whole game. I just need. I won't. Oh, up and down works. But like sideways, it doesn't work. All right. It's very weird that it that it even works with this taken away. So we have here character update character. And we renamed the movement to translate. So we're translating the object. Horizontal speed times. Hmm. Let's see here. Let's take away this code too. Crying just crying 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 crying. I don't. What? What? Crying? What the hell is that? We need to Google it. It's crying crying. Crying guest. Crying crying guest. What the hell is that? Crying guest. Second person singular. 
present form of cringe. Cringe, cringest. Never heard of that anymore. <laughs> That's amazing shrinking cup. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not leaving right now. <gasps> You're not leaving us? Why not? Cringy. Crank, cranky. I don't know. I don't know. Crying, crying just. I guess. I hope. <laughs> Everybody's gonna come to the stream. Really. What is this guy who don't, doesn't know how to talk? <laughs> so, this is falling, but we're not going sideways, which is very odd. So, and it's not throwing an error, so I guess that's named correctly. So, if we go to... Oh no. Oh no. Teaches us to uh Oh. Oh. So it's a horizontal axis here. Oh, 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 oh. Of course. We haven't really finished this code, so um maybe if we do this instead. So we do horizontal speed should be let's look at the old code fast so let's open uh, what we had so version control to the rescue let's see here so we go to the thing I changed so it used to be horizontal speed plus equals movement speed and times equals 0 0.5 so it removes some and that's now removed so we need still that and I should uh, at some point figure out where I'm gonna put that but that should be right now I'll just put it here Horizon horizontal speed I don't know why I removed that is times equals 0 0.5 and horizontal speed maybe that doesn't need to be there now is equals plus equals uh, horizontal axis times movement speed. It shouldn't really be in this file, but I'll figure it out later. Welcome everyone. Welcome. We are uh, we are doing uh, coding here. We are figuring out bugs. We are uh, doing all kinds of very exciting things that nobody cares about. So now, and um, because I think where it gets applied. Because in the jump, the vertical axis into vertical speed, and it's already multiplying with movement speed, so we don't need to do that. Let's see now. Fringe. Elmer Fadid, fringe, like the edge of something. Typically, it's used to talk about the fringe of cloak, the fringe of science. I know what fringe is, yeah. But cringe with a C. Cringe. Cringe. Fringe. Fringe, I know. Like, there's even a TV series called Fringe or something. Um, that's the, the latter being what the show was named after. The fringe of science. Oh yes, we can move again. There we go. Still weird that. So we need to f still fix the camera, but at least we got it moving now and everything like that. Oh, right. And of course, this should then apply for the keyboard movement too. So we open the keyboard movement. Here we're not doing it, and we're just doing this. So now also because we we can use the exact same code here because we have done. Uh, we are now like we have uh, made it work similarly as with the gamepad as before it wasn't. Fringe, cringe is the pr is pronounced like fringe with a C in the front, but. Cringe and fringe, I can, but cringest, 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 fringest, fridge, cringest. Yeah, it just sounds weird. I learn new words every day. <laughs> Elmer Fudd actually helped us uh, spell check our website a bit. Hopefully, I got most of them corrected. I'll still go through your messages uh, that you did earlier, but thanks for that. Uh, Oh, we are on the community. That's interesting. Uh, it's weird that uh, it didn't message me, the, the community bot. Community bot, stop bugging. Uh, community bot is awesome, but he really needs to... Um, 
he sometimes ignores people. <laughs> I don't know why. And he just goes like into this kind of ignore state and this doesn't do anything. But yeah, it's weird. You used to message people in the chat, but now it doesn't do anything. So you don't even know you are on the community. I don't know what happened. Maybe I wasn't live yet. I don't know. Go vote. It's not yet, Arash. I think it's still 26 minutes. <laughs> yeah, we still have 23 minutes. Then you can go vote for me so I can stay on the spotlight. Um, but <laughs> I don't know if I want to stay in the spotlight. <laughs> it's like, welcome to the spotlight where uh, Coder is struggling with bugs for hours and hours at end. Please follow us if you like fixing bugs. So <laughs> crying just is like the superlative way to say cringe. Just like you say good and best, it's like cringe and the most cringy. Cringy, I would understand. Sounds very Australian. Cringy. Anyway, you were voted in by default. I didn't get the chance to vote in you, but it's default in you anyway. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. <laughs> yeah. It defaults on me every time. No, this is the first time actually I'm on the spotlight. So let's see what, uh, what it brings. But yeah, I used to message people, but I guess it doesn't anymore. Does anybody else that streams who's been on Spotlight has community bot stopped messaging people? Because it did, like, uh, the community bot actually got banned from Adobe stream because it kept messaging and people are like, what, who put a bot on here? Mm, and then they were like, delete. So I hope, uh, well, Twitch I know is working on this. I've been talking to them, sending messages and be like, hey, hey guys. But I think it's really awesome that they, I think feel like they're putting a lot of effort into creative lately. And uh, thumbs up for that. We really need the love and hopefully we can grow like the whole creative, not just game dev, but hopefully cr game dev too, in addition. I think the last time I saw a message anybody was two days ago. Oh, okay. So they must have uh, changed that. So that means that they're working on something, but now you kind of don't know anything. So <laughs> the spots on you game dev company. You need to prove people you got some skills, show up what you got. All right, code faster. Oh, now we need to. Uh... So guys, uh, welcome. I'll take my shirt off. Uh, next, we will fix the bug at the same time as I'm dancing for you. Uh, let's see what we need to fix. We need to fix the camera. So let's look at the camera script and we talk faster. Thanks for the follow, cryptic nonsense. This is our new thing we're doing. We're praying. So welcome to the game dev community. And I mean our community, of course. Game dev company community. Make it good, says Arash. Yeah, Arash is the designer, so he's like, uh, don't screw up the game. Uh... I was gonna do something totally different, but I guess I'm, I'm debugging. So for some reason, it says the players in the global dot state is not, it's not alive. So let's say if we ignore that. It might be it's not set, but that would be very weird because it sets that already in the previous screen. Camera equals good camera. Finished. Just do it. Okay, it doesn't hate that. So maybe state is not set or maybe character states is not an actual thing. I thought it was. I thought it was an actual thing. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't like that. So it doesn't like character states alive. Where did I put that actually? Is it inside of handle animation? Where where do we where do we have even that piece of code? Maybe I refactored it away. Go away. So, okay, I can't see the stream. Here we go again. What's up, Celio? Why can't you see the stream? Can anybody else see the stream? Anyway, uh, I don't know why I'm crying. Uh, so it's not here. This has nothing to do with states though. So here it does check this. And then if you go to character, right, it is running that too on the, so this is the begin. So begin step, begin to update the character. Sup, Bez? Thumbs up. 
I don't know what that was. But there you go, guys. Uh, let's see here. Step. Update character. What do we have in update character? Lots of crap. So in select character, what do we have here? Where is the... Why do we actually missing a piece of code? What do you think about Game Maker, says Valentin. Welcome, Valentin, to the stream. What do I think about Game Maker? You get a lot of kind of discussion, you know, this engine versus that engine, right? And uh, I would say that, like, uh, you have to use the right tool for the right purpose. I've used Unity for, like, a long time. And uh, if you don't do your Arash voice and say, I'm to Toy Dorian, mind tricks don't work on me, only money. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sup, Proto Lambda. So uh, just a short uh, on Game Maker and, uh, it versus anything else. So what Game Maker does really good is making 2D prototypes on, and you can also do a finished game. So if you're a lone programmer who doesn't have access to amazing artists, who are just gonna do all the art for you and you hate white boxes like i don't mean in the that you hate white boxes but that you hate if you don't understand what it is when you're doing a prototype i would say that game maker is an awesome tool because you have the sprite editor here and i made all this art that you see here this is not some artist made it i made it and i'm not an artist so i just made an ugly pirate and i have an ugly pirate now in the game so you can really fast so and games that made with uh, game makers undertale and stuff like that the thing i maybe like the least is that it's not strictly like a oop or object oriented programming language it's um it's a uh, their own game maker language so um i don't know i don't get that passionate about gaming some people are really fanboys like you know fanboys of apple or pc like oh you can't use a poop you can't use a you know a, a mac it's crap you have to be pc master race forever you know and then you go into a stance and they will do a salute and you know stand there and you know and it's the same thing with engines people are like I've been using Unity forever. It's the best engine ever. Or I'm used Unreal Engine. It's the best way to go. No other engine matters. Or you shouldn't be using an engine. You should be coding everything in assembly from scratch. Yeah, Arc Linux master race. You know. <laughs> yeah, you can't use MS Paint. You have to use this. Pro All that kind of attitude is counterproductive. Because in in the industry, when you get a job. If, if you want to work for another company, they're going to tell you what to use. It's not like, oh, I'm going to program this in Unity and screw you guys. It's, no, it's going to be like, hey, this company, we've been building this game in uh, Unreal Engine. That's what you have to use. But an important thing, like what we say to, with Arash a lot of the time, is that go check what games have been made with that engine. So if you love Undertale, Hotline Miami, uh, Hyper Light Drifter, um, Spelunky first edition, not the second one. If you love those games and you want to make those games, then use Game Maker. That's what they've been made with. If you love uh, Angry Birds or stuff like that, or you know other games made by Unity, then use Unity. If you love, uh, you know, whatever, you know, go check what games have been made. Unreal Engine, the games that Unreal have made. They all have a different flavor. It does matter what engine you use because the end result will look different because of the engine you use, right? Because the shaders, you're using other people's code as the basis of your game. I'm using their rendering pipeline to render this pixel art. It'll make it look very game maker-y, uh, the game. And I like that. Um, if I want to make a game maker-y game in Unity, it's going to be much more work. Yeah, Hearthstone. Kerbal Space Program. Uh, I think Kerbal Space Program actually was a bit weird choice to use Unity, but hey, they've pulled it off. They did have to rewrite, I think, the whole physics engine at the end or something. Or maybe it was just Unity's last, like Unity 5, it fixed a lot or something. For example, Unity hasn't existed as long as Unreal Engine, so the Unreal Engine's 3D's uh, capabilities is much more aged. They've been around for a very long time compared to Unity. Um, so I wonder where that happened. 
I'm trying to find where where uh, where would um, let's go to version control and see here. So we have here. I didn't delete like some weird stuff like you know system. No. Nope. I wonder where the enum is. Parachute, UE panel, root object. Oh crap. Did we did we miss out on some code? Collision, damageable, control, hit keyboard, grounded, result screen, rotate. Um but I hopefully that answered your question, uh, um, Valentin. I don't know if that's the answer you wanted, but don't ask if you don't want the answer. Hyperlight is probably the best looking game maker made game. Yeah, definitely. They, and they spent a lot of time and had a lot of um, uh, talent doing that. So me, for example, as a programmer, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not even trying to make that polished of a game from game maker. Oh, Protolambus using uh, Arc to watch Twitch. Cool, dude. Mm. Yeah, Hearthstone was made with Unity. Lisa doesn't waste his money for his own card game engine. <gasps> yeah, a lot of the things, another thing that people tend to forget is that, it, and this this doesn't matter if you're indie or not. Uh, if you are, if you're working in a big company, if you're working on indie, you. <sighs> The sad reality is that you have to think about your business. So, for example, if your business is making casual mobile games, uh, 3D mobile games, um, coding uh, for cross-platform, let's say like this, coding your engine that you can compile everything cross-platform, you know, it sounds cool as a tech and you could probably sell it. Um, but if you, that's not what you're going to do is sell tech, you're going to jump ahead by using unity for example so you're saving money uh no problem valentine um valentine and i always glad to hear people's informed opinions about engines like hearing like oh unreal engine does this really well so because i learned stuff from that too so you know oh unit uh unreal engine or unity is really good at this and then like oh i didn't know that uh but the the opinions that i kind of personally kind of ignore is when people are just like unreal engine is the only engine and you why are you not using it you you're the only you know you're a dumbass for not doing unity or something or whatever those are just uninformed opinions they're just personal opinions and of course you're allowed to have them but um it, it's like if i like chocolate and someone else doesn't like chocolate you know i'm not gonna go be like oh you chocolate person but of course, sometimes it, you see someone use the wrong tool. So you're like trying to make a 3D game game maker. I would be like, hey, 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 guy, you, you, you might, you might want to save you some pain by going Unreal Engine or Unity. Uh, there are just a few different things. Yeah, I, I would say that. The, yeah, they use Pro Unity, yeah. Yeah, Pokemon Go is Unity. A lot of mobile games are Unity, I feel like. I feel like that's what they're best at right now. And don't cut my head off for saying it. Uh, well, there is really awesome games. Like, I don't know how many... You probably, most of you have seen this, but I just... I've fallen in love with uh, William Chur. So if you are not following William Chur, so William Chur like this, uh, go and uh, check him out. Um... He has a, a game called Manifold Garden. Manifold, as you can see, I've visited his site before. Here, you, it's an amazing game. This is made with Unity. So this shows Unity can be used for like amazing games that are not mobile. I don't know if the music is, oh. I don't understand why people don't allow full screen. I'll just press here and go full screen instead. So this is an amazing game, guys. Go check him out, go give him love. You know, he's really awesome developer. Uh, so, um, you know, this is made with Unity, for example. It probably would look totally different if he made it in Unreal Engine. Probably not fully totally, but there's certain effects that are 
easier to do or look a certain way just because you use Unity because of how the shading pipeline works, for example. Or, you know, is there ambient occlusion or whatever, you know, how it works. So this is actually a game where your levels are infinite. So it like loops the level so you can jump and it changes every, it's a persistent state. So even if like if the same level is here and here, you can jump from here to here. If you press the button in the previous place, it's also changed state in the next. <laughs> yeah. How would you recommend practicing programming as a beginner? I was looking at GitHub, but the projects all seem pretty advanced. Yeah, I wouldn't do GitHub. Don't start with GitHub. GitHub is for when you know a bit more and you wanna, you know, use other people's projects to boost your project forward, like using plugins where you can still have a chance to affect. So go check out his project, by the way. So what I would do is whatever Unity, like Game Engine X, which is whatever you choose, and then you just do tutorial and choose the simplest one. If it's boring and you know stuff, skip ahead, just press next or put it on 1.5 speed. In, like if you watch the tutorial and it's on YouTube, by the way, um, let's do something like, well, we could have used the manifold, manifold garden video. Here we go, whatever, this is IGN's video. So do notice that if you're bored, um, oh, you can't do it on this one. Crap, I chose the wrong video. And sometimes you can change the speed here. I guess you can't in this. Oh, this is the commercial. Oh, we don't want to watch the mid commercial. Let's wait for that to pass. But, um, damn you, IGN, for, uh, oh, crap, it's not playing. I'll keep it under screen. I don't want to, I'm not sponsored by these people. I'm not, uh, so I'm not going to show their commercial. That's up to them. And Twitch doesn't get anything either, so. Okay, here we go. So here you can actually put the speed on, you know, even two times and you can really watch it, re watch it really fast or 1.5. You can still understand what they're saying usually. And you actually get used to it if you do it for a long part time. What? With this? Oh, with this game again. Uh, I'm trying to learn Unity. I'm actually watching tutorial series right now and that's good as so far about all the basics. Exactly. And then once you get through the tutorial, which is boring, I understand. It's not something that's really amazing, but do slight changes. Even during the tutorial, if they say, make the player green, make him blue. If they say, make the player go right, you can make him go left because you start understanding when you're changing things. Uh, that how you, that's how you start understanding what affects what. Um, so start changing values. If they say do here, of course you're doing uh, addition, you're doing position plus something, do position minus, see what happens because you would start understanding the underlying, uh, the underlying kind of logic of the, the, the program. But yeah, GitHub is probably not ooh, the best place to learn. I'm actually trying to break down from learning Unity, watch some streamers develop. Exactly, that's another way. You can watch streamers. They will though, most streamers don't do tutorials. And what they will do is the same thing I'm doing here. I have my, this has nothing to do with Game Maker. This is all my own code and all structure. So once you're advanced, I don't want to say this is not advanced, but what's your experience? You can be like, oh, he's doing it that way. He's structuring that way. But, um, and then you learn really, you can learn new things. Uh, because you see other people doing it different ways than you are used to. Um, the thing you can learn from watching streamers really easy is see how their flow workflow is set up. Yeah, and uh, get you don't get frustrated with errors. I have an error right now, and uh, you just have to live with it. It's just life, I guess. <laughs> you know, nobody writes perfect code. Um, it's a bit like. Um, uh, when, um, people, when, you know, when you have, like, if you're working on a game that's in production or live or something like that, and the game breaks and, uh, you know, you have a bug and it's something that actually players are experiencing, 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 I don't know. I'm having trouble pronouncing that word today, it seems. So when you have that experience for the players, I think the, the thing that matters is not, you know, oh shit, I need to fix this really fast. Of course you do. 
The important thing is how do you react to an emergency? And it's the same thing here. How do you react to when you have a bug? Do you get super frustrated or do you not? Do you just be like, okay, let's figure it out. Let's calm down. Let's take step at a time uh, and then uh, learn, go through, you know, try to find it. So for example, right now, I'm trying to find where, where did I put the, the piece of code that's gonna, that like, the, I, I used to have a enum. I thought it was an init character, but there's nothing here, I think. There's a character states, but where is that? Hmm. Uh, GitHub is actually nice for learning some stuff. Project structure matters are nice to learn from examples. Exactly, uh, Proto Lambda, but I would say that that's when you, you need that once you know programming. Oh, thanks for the follow, Modianzi, Modianzi. I hope that's pro pro pronounced Modianzi, Modianzi. Welcome to the game dev company community. Game dev community, uh, we're uh, talking about all kinds of stuff today, so. I'm trying to fix a bug at the same time, but let's see. It's not so important. It's nice to have you guys asking stuff and do ask a lot of different people because every person will give you a different answer and listen to what they're saying and then, you know, form your own opinions about things. Don't become like a devotee of anything. So yeah, my personal opinion about GitHub is that, yes, you're right, you should. Oh, thanks for the follow, Mr. Nedinator. Welcome to the game dev community. Um, <laughs> I'm not starting doing this. I guess this is a thing now. I keep saying it, but I guess. Maybe I should do it like this. Oh, thanks for follow, Volk Volkanostral. Sometimes I really feel like you're really trying to make something that's hard to pronounce. <laughs> I guess it's because all the good uh, usernames are already taken. Thanks for the follow. Welcome to the game dev community. Um, so yeah, I keep saying, I repeat I beat, I beat myself. So yes, learning structure is really good, but when you're new and you don't even understand what an if sentence is. Thanks for the follow, Shelter00. Stelter, Stelter, sorry, Stelter, not Shelter. Stelter00, welcome to the game dev community. Yeah, so, um, Project structure doesn't matter that much in the beginning when you're just learning stuff, but do try to learn it as fast as possible because you will save a lot of, like, because I put now, for example, all the mechanics here, I have an easier time finding them. The thing I notice now that my structure doesn't support is that I don't know where this thing is, so <laughs> I need to find a character state. Uh, I should actually, uh, let's uh, zoom in this a bit. I think you guys might have a problem seeing it. Oh. That's for the community rules. Sorry, guys. So let's go here. I was fixing some spelling mistakes earlier. Um, yeah. Um, welcome, Ostro, and welcome. Kiddo, don't watch the episode. And as soon as you get bored, hop into coding and mess around. You will never learn to code when you watch others. Only by figuring stuff out yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's a trial and error. Uh, program is trial and error. If you don't love trial and error then I would say don't, be well, I don't want to say don't become a programmer. That's wrong. You will have problems. <laughs> so, uh, because a lot of the time, this is what the life of the programmer is. It's like, oh, I have a bug number 45. Oh, this became really big. Let's close all of these so it scales them properly. I guess we save that. Let's see, I saved now something, but Let's just close everything. It's easier. Um, but yeah, doing yourself. There's nothing beating. Like, uh, oh, and uh, right now we're being voted at the community spotlight. If you want, if you like what I'm saying, please vote for us. Write kapow or the emoticon kapow to have us continue. If you don't like us, there's other good options like chemical chems and wardon 508 give them a try if you uh, are bored with my talking already <laughs> so um yeah you need to get practice practice it's, it's even if you're working in a um, virtual environment it is a skill and you don't learn a skill you don't learn to play the guitar that thing over there by watching other people playing guitar or listening to a hundred songs you have to play it yourself have to get these things working and this thing working 
Oh, Rob the Swan. Yeah, go follow Rob the, uh, Rob the Swan. I hope you get it. You've been waiting all day to get Community Spotlight. I hope you get it. Um, there is a contest between uh, Rob the Swan and the Game Dev Company. Who will win? Rob the Swan has three votes. I have uh, two votes. <laughs> but yeah, I do really hope Rob the Swan gets it, guys, because he's a really awesome streamer and he's been waiting all, like, all day to get that. Yeah, he's been waiting for a long time, so I don't... He deserves it, dudes. Um, everybody's following an ICU now video. Oh, crap, Celio. Oh, I'm not doing the dog. I will only do it for hosts and uh, stuff like that. Oh, Mr. Nedinator, what's your thoughts on RPG Maker games? Um... Yeah, no links, guys. Oh, no links. Yeah. Um, so, what's my thoughts on RPG Maker? So if everybody's confused what I'm talking about, by the way, the voting, it's a thing in Twitch now, you can vote for who's the spotlight in the community. Welcome, awesome Jovi. Welcome to the stream. So RPG Maker games, do you mean the are making games in it or the games themselves? There's some really awesome like Racketeer. Let's see if I can find it. Which is really interesting. Um, let's see if I can find it first. This, I think this is made with RPG Maker. And this is a really cool game. You run an item shop and you're selling stuff and it's cool. So there's good games. Um, I have a thought on that. Don't. Don't RPG. No, but the thing is, if you really want to make an RPG game, um, don't start with like zero, like from zero. Start with, you know, from... Um, RPG, if you really love writing stories, if you want to make everything, code everything from scratch and that's your thing and you want to make, you know, a platformer or, you know, you want to make something really, really unique, uh, then don't go RPG Maker. If you want to just tell a story, maybe get some uniqueness in there, but you're really into creating dialogue and story, use RPG Maker because if you're going to do it in Unity, Game Maker, anything else, you're just going to spend six years making your thing instead of two years. Oh, thanks for the follow. Uh, host creeper killer twelve. I guess it's time for the. Now you you wanted the the, the dog thing. There are some good RPG made, but I think most are are mostly based on story. Yeah, exactly. It's a story engine. It's it's not a it's a game engine, but it's primarily a story engine. Uh, you wanted the the dog thing, so now I already closed it. Crap. I need to open it again. I need to. So for host, uh, we do uh... <laughs> dog, 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 dog. <laughs> Why don't you just put this on a loop and I can take a coffee pause and just go and uh, have a drink coffee and stuff like that? I don't even have music on, I just noticed. Oh yes, we can put the volume on max. I can just do anything out under here. Corgis and Shibas, that's what we're all about. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I need to keep it open now so I don't have to search for it every time. Thanks for the host. Uh, I probably should put this camera down a bit so you can see my hands while I'm dancing. Or my armpit while I'm adjusting it. There we go, come on. Loosen up a bit, come on, come on. Oh, is that better? There we go. Now you can see some of my uh, body, not not too much headspace. Dance, dance puppet, dance. Sometimes I feel like Twitch is like a platform for making people dance for you. Well, there's the new dance thing where there's actually some amazing dancers who are just like doing crazy stuff. I don't know, I just get depressed when I see it. Um, 
<laughs> because I can't dance that well. Um, Finnish people, I'm from Finland, by the way, for those who didn't know. Um, Finnish people are, well, there's some good dancers here, but most of us are not. The women are fine, but men, we, we don't know anything about dancing. We know that we have limbs. We're like the white guy in movies. We're like, what, what was it? What, what is it they do? Sorry. Ah, yeah. This is the dancing or something. <laughs> Let's do this back and forth. And then you do this, and then you do this, and then you do this. And that's it. That's us in the disco. Set sprite, select character. I'm trying to find the code. Hey, where did we put it? No idea. Draw health bar? No. No. Where is it? How do you search in Game Maker? That's the thing I'm really missing in this. What? Where's the character states enum? There it is. So it exists here. Maybe I should just put it in. What if I move this from here and then uh, close all of this? Because I think those are global by default, aren't they? So we can just take it from there. And then we put it in the system, I think. System should always exist. Let's see what happens now. How do you pronounce your nombre? Oh my god. <laughs> dance, puppet, dance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, coffee. How do you pronounce my name? So most people say Bjorn because they don't have the O with two dots. So the O with two dots um, is the umlaut. Um, it's pronounced in Swedish. It's Ö. Uh, uh, so it's like uh, It's down here. It's like uh. So so sorry. I'm going to Swedish already. So how you uh, pronounce and pronounce it is Björn, 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 and it means bear actually, bear, maybe someone has a tip how to say ö, uh. I don't know, born, it's born again, exactly, actually one of my uh, middle names is Gunner, so I could be like bear gunner or something, Hello, my name is Bear Gunner. I am here to hunt you down. If you are in the forest, I know where you live. Because forest is my kingdom. I don't know what that was, but okay. Learn about the channel from the learn programming subject. More useful. Oh, you learn about the channel. About our channel? I don't know. Or which channel? Yeah, shaders. I love shaders. I'm, I love effects. Arash can attest to that. I love playing around with effects. I haven't even gone to the Game Maker shaders yet. Uh, yet, And um, I just love making particle effects and shaders. Probably Jason Bourne. Bior Bourne. And Arash. Oh, Arash. 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 That's, I think, is that correct? Arash? A wild corgi has appeared. Let's catch him. Where are my pokeballs? Where are they? I don't have a pokeball here. I have this. Oh, crap. Did I hit him? How many of you are playing Pokemon Go? I want to stream Pokemon Go now. So who won? Yes, Rob won. Good, good, Rob won. Okay. Greetings, immortal, immortal, immoral gods. <gasps> uh, greetings, mortals. Oh, is he a legendary Pokemon? I was, but my account got hacked. Oh. Well, I can barely code gravity, so I guess it's not for me. Oh, well, you'll learn. So what does it know? Still saying this. So the players, so let's see here. Players is, I don't think I changed anything in this. Why would it crash? So we, when we go to 
a character. In a character, it puts players index. Index is get player index. Get player index is where do we have that? Get player index is last index plus equals one. Last index, let's see here. Last index is lost in time and space. Where does it find that? Is it just zero? Last index, why wouldn't I have it in the system? So let's see here. So here we're setting it. So let's see here. We're getting the index here. So let's just do show debug massage, massage, the massage of the z z day, z day. Uh, holy. Uh, so leaving house is a no no. My phone is only has only Wi Fi. So leaving house is a no no. Anyway, I don't think don't like the game of Pokemon Go because the I'm totally into turn-based combat Pokemon and totally doesn't have it. Yeah, I'm actually surprised they didn't have the combat in there. Boops, sup, level one, two. Uh, welcome back. I don't have that many Pokemon though. Best one is 213. See, well, 230 is much better than I have. I'm not even level five, so. Do you guys know that they have made $14 million so far with Pokemon Go? A slow start, yep. It's a slow start, $14 million is not enough. And then those stocks went up with 20%. <laughs> because regular Pokemon games make more for the first days. Uh, I think it's going to explode, guys. They're going to earn more than that. Oh, crap. We were going to see what it returns. Why is it not showing that again? It should show me that. Come on. There we go. Oh, so it starts at 1. Maybe that's the problem. It starts at 1, not at... It starts at 1, not 0, for some reason. So let's go to... Camera, camera. Lights, camera, action. What game had that? Who knows? Who of you guys know what, what game, or actually mod, started with light, camera, action? Not movie. Rip. Rest in peace, handheld games and consoles. Rest in peace, games in general. Yeah. The game scene is changing. It's going through big changes. The type of games people play. It's in what game type of games they make. It's changing. We need music, guys. This is, nobody wants to listen to this. Yeah, games are not made for gamers anymore. They're made for non-gamers. That's the that's the thing. So we found maybe the bug now. So let's go to camera, option, create, step, create. So I think I needs to be one. I don't know why I didn't change that. That must have been a pre-existing error. Let's go into the game. All right, now it works. There we go. Finally. Oh, I keep going right now. Is my controller, I think? Yeah, the dead zone is probably not set correctly. Also, the it seems like the collider Collider is like offset still. That's very weird. I will have to figure that out. Um, do you remember KitKat being written as KitKat before? Well, that's very true. Without wanting to be that guy, but games are made for casual market now. Yeah. They're made for your grandma now, not for you. It's not made for us gamers anymore. <laughs> games 
are not made for gamers, but for non-gamers. Well, yeah, it kind of isn't because it's kind of like the definition of a gamer has changed. So majority of people are casual gamers. So if you ask what is a gamer, it's like your mom and grandma and, you know, the guy who drives a pickup truck who, you know, doesn't know what CSGO is or Battlefield. That's the gamer these days. And then, you know, what you guys are, I guess, most of you guys, you're hardcore gamers or something new. So, you know, if you were a gamer in the 90s or 2000s, it was a totally different person. You were like, you know, me. <laughs> like, you had a console, you have a console, you play Battlefield. But then again, uh, the amount of hardcore gamers are also going uh, up. Wanna hear the song I just made? Sure. Are you a musician? Um, do you have, where do you have it? Michelle Obama has been trying to get Americans to go outside for past days and Nintendo did it in a day. Nintendo has been trying to get us out in the past 10 years, Arash. Look at all our games are like, oh, go outside, please move. Like we, everything's trying to make us move and shit. And that's also, it's kind of funny. It's like when they did the VR, which is still a product kind of for gamers, or like hardcore gamers, sorry, not hardcore, but hardcore gamers. Um, they, they, I don't know. I think people who haven't, I don't know. What, what, what I like about games is that I don't have to move my physical body. If I like moving my physical body, I would be as into sports. It's the same thing, but I move my physical body. Uh, it's competitive. So um, then you get VR, which is trying to mimic yourself. Well, yeah, it's, I can understand that. Like probably people into sports will get even more into games because you now can use your physical body to move. But I just want to have a VR set and lie on my sofa and just move my thumbs. It's like, I don't, I don't want to move. I just, I don't know. But yeah, there was a huge like hype. Like, oh, you're gonna be like moving like in the normal world. I'm like, no, I just, can I move with just my little finger and like just do this? Can I move with just moving my eyeball? I don't have to move at all. I can just go into a coma. Lie in the bed and be like, oh, I'm playing games, guys. Uh, Corey, how's your pig chicken game coming along? Yeah, exactly, how's it going, dude? We haven't seen the demo yet. With Pokemon Go, the environment changed, but the way you get enjoyment is the same. So in reality, nothing changed. At least there's lots of things. At least they're walking around though, even when it's with a screen. <laughs> yeah, they're walking around in front of a car and dying. Or they get tricked into some like shady alley just because there's a Pokemon where you wouldn't go. Uh, Doodle Mead, who had the magazine at? I don't know. I don't know. I'm from Finland, so I don't know how it's in the magazine. Liat, welcome back. Kinect games for Xbox are the only fun kind of exercise. I don't know. I played some Kinect. I kind of. I'm, and then I went to play the thing without the Kinect. No, it's good. Yeah, I, I'm really excited about VR. I'm actually surprisingly excited about watching movies because it's like having a movie theater, and but it's strapped to your head. So no more 600 inch TV for me. It's just this thing I can lie on the toilet and just watch the movie, really good sound, good depth. I don't need to go to the movies anymore. Oh, thanks SoundCloud, ooh, reset. Uh, this is your own thing, right? So I have permission to stream it. This is Creepers, Creeper Killers 12, sorry. not cre He's not a creeper, he kills creepers. The phone is going off. What does it want? Huh? There's no report death caused by Pokemon. Yet. Yet. Don't come back at the end of Don't come back at the end of stream again. Interesting. Now it just needs like a good melody. Or if maybe this is more like a non-melodic house. Did you guys hear someone track the person to steal their Pokemon? 
Pokemons out of your life. Give me your Pokemons! Come on, guy! Hand it over, hand it over. No, not your phone, just your Pokemons. <laughs> Transfer them to my phone, come on! I'm gonna sell them on internet. I'm super interested in, in VR. I'm, uh, but not in the one we have now. I'm full immersive VR. Yeah. I want to be full hack slash slash. Yeah, maybe. But then I want to be like super powerful. Or something. I made a song, it sucked. Yeah. Me too. I made a song and it sucked. Most people make a song and it sucked. Loud sound income. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see it. I hope this is not too loud for you guys. Can you still hear me? Let's see. Oh yes! You probably can barely hear me over this one. As soon comes that. I made five songs on week and I never did a song again. That's good. Oh, now it has a melody at the end. Oh, we're going to the next song. I should just only listen to that one. Not have permission to listen to the next one. Uh, I don't know what song. Oh, okay, sorry. Cool, dude. There's a lot of people who need music, so keep at it. And there's a lot of indie games that need music. You have a lot of opportunity, especially here, you know. When people are launching the game, just keep promoting, and um, you, you'll probably definitely pique someone's interest. Can hear you fine. Okay. Yeah. Be up to your streamer, too. You know, how. How are you checking your sound before going live with OBS? I really wish they would do that. I really wish they would, um... They would, um... I don't know if I need this. Uh, I really wish... They would make something I can listen to the sound. Yep, everybody needs songs. And there's not enough musicians out there that are willing to work on an indie level price. Uh, there's definitely some place where you can buy or stuff music, but I think there's a big market there. Sup, Disparate? Hey, you're the only other person than myself I've been seeing using a rounded cam frame. Ah. The roundness is uh, it's, it's big, it's big. It's gonna be the next big thing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why we went round. It kind of looks interesting, I guess. I don't know. I could try to make a OS. No, oh, you could. Uh, so what was I gonna do in the game? So I guess let's see if it works now. It still has some weird stuff. So the collider, for some reason, is is fucked. Makes no sense. And this is really a party game, so it really doesn't make any sense without having many players. So let's see here. Uh, well, uh, Liat is uh, saying one, you get used to looking at the volume bars and knowing what's too loud and what's not. Yep, I'm getting quite used to that. Um, it's still a bit challenging. I use the laptop with stream on with separate headsets so I can check. I often recommend people use their headphone, just put earbuds on and you can check whenever you need. Yeah, true. Uh, I do have my mobile phone, I can check it from there. Where was your gaming? Where was your game? Ah, oh, where was my game? Ah, oh, it magically disappeared. Exactly. Sorry, I didn't have time to make it. I did have an idea though, uh, which I was gonna make, but then in real life, you know? We are busy people, we have uh, run the show here, make you guys entertain all the time. I will do Quasi Jam Done Day though. So the idea that I was gonna make was, because the theme was, there can only be one, where it's a bit like, imagine, have you played Mount My Friends? And basically it's like you would have, there's a wall, and you have to go there, and then uh, basically you have to use each other to get up the wall, uh, but then I haven't really figured out all the mechanics yet or didn't ever figure them out all But then you die somehow and then your friends climb your dead corpse and just one guy can escape So it's like escape the prison kind of game where 
you know, the lights are going off and they're searching for you and like prisoners are trying to get out and they're like climbing the dead bodies. Maybe there's a sniper shooting them off or something. But yeah, that game never made, got made now, so. Uh, I started designing animated hexagon shaped cam overlays and so on. Want people to stop using boxes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. A lot of people use you know, also a green screen, which is not a bad idea. I haven't yet done that because I was like, people are not gonna watch me because of the green screen, so I'm not gonna bother buying a green cloth or painting the walls or doing stuff like that. I, of course, don't have to use green. I can use any color, but green is the safest choice. The first known song I made can kill your ears. <laughs> Says Kydigen. Oh, cool, dude. All right. Uh, it's like I should just have this full screen cam and talk to you guys instead. Uh, oh man, Prison Escape turn-based game sounds pretty fun. Yeah, it would be like one at a time you would run and then, you know, you have to dodge a sniper. But in the beginning, I don't know how it would end because you can't really get over the wall the first try. So basically, it's just strategy. You have to be st strategical where you're placing your bodies and then think about the turns that, you know, when, w when you come up that you would be the guy. So you don't want to build... At the end, it's just going to be a flat mountain of corpses because nobody wants to be let the other person go over. So this game, it's supposed to be witches, but it's not yet because this is the prototype. So now I have all kinds of characters, but then there are going to be four witches. It's going to be called Witch Witch. So Witch Witch. It's very hard to pronounce. Witch Witch. Um, is today special? Uh, it's okay, Marash. But yeah, you should ask permission first uh, before posting stuff. Oh, this is the thing you were working on today, yeah. You know what throws me off? Is that this... Um, I'm not an artist, but this is very light. Like, light is hitting this brick. But then this is dark. So is this darker brick uh, than this? So maybe make this the same... Like if the, and then you could create shadows from these edges. Like if you know what direction, like let's say it's coming from a perspective, then uh, you can uh, have there being a, a shadowed edge depending on from what point of view your light is coming in your game. So, um, so yeah, so we're making a thing. And then the idea is it's still very rough is that you're falling to your death, as you can see. And there's gonna just be one broom. Now it's a parachute. So you're fighting over this parachute and whoever gets this parachute and uh, is able to hold it long enough to deploy it wins. So, and then there will be environment stuff. So today I'm actually gonna work on some of the environmental effects. There we go. So, uh, and now you, you would have won. But uh, yeah, this is still a work in progress very much. Um, so that's the game, I guess. Uh, what distribution type is Game Maker? What do you mean, distribution type? Um, yeah, I turned off that I have to write permit the links all the time. Uh, so the bot doesn't like automatically ban you or like delete the message. Uh, but if there's a lot of links coming in, uh, then yeah, uh, we might turn it on. Uh, uh, Unreal Engine with pixel art. Where is that coming from? Ah, it'll have its own illumination. Okay, cool. But yeah, you should... Ah, oh, command no work. Yeah, we yeah, don't have a song command. I haven't set that up. We don't want to have a, a copyrighted music playing, so... 
Mm, so let's see here. Oh, what song is this? I can check it. It's um, The Woods by DJ Cutman. The Woods? The Woods by DJ Cutman. Personally, actually, the game, game, I'm not sure. Oh, well, I think you should make it lighter at least. More play, you could do that too. You know, I don't know if tiles would look like that. Yeah, maybe it's too detailed, yeah, maybe. You could look at references, find references. That's the best way. Yeah, we can play these songs, Arash. I've been playing these before. Kipow. Ah, oh, here's your shading thing. Okay, cool. Don't know what you're exactly doing here, but I know that you're probably playing with the shader. Ah, illumination testing, unreal. Interesting, interesting making 2D gaming in real. It's definitely possible, but maybe not the best engine for 2D. But what do I know? I haven't made a 2D game in Unreal. So, um, let's see here. Um, really hope there will be some fresh air coming in. I'm getting really hot in here. Uh, it's all the... So what, what I want to do next is I want to actually uh, have stuff fall. So now we have only one type of block, right? So we have the type of block... So we have only one types, so we should create types of blocks. So what do we have here? So let's look at the blocks. So we have root block that has a create and a step. And that runs the update block. So when we have blocks here, we have, oh, that's the sprites, sorry. The scripts folder is getting reloaded. So let's close those. So we have block and update block. Fallable then fall. How do I set that? Oh, I override the create here. Do I? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um. Oh, you're sending this. Yeah, I don't know if you need that much shaders for a 2D game because most of the time, except if you want like a sh dynamic sun or something, but then you shouldn't do any gradients on your pixel art either. You should have the game engine do that for you because it will be wrong. The boat is already over, guys. Uh, so, but since you will use Unreal, you know better how we will make the shadows. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't need dynamic stuff where, you know, the sun and day cycles, then uh, maybe don't. There's no point in writing a shader. So here we have something where if it's fallable, then it falls. It's fallible. If vertical speed is max speed, then. If it hits, it does deals damage. Yeah. In creating a shader that would work in a 2D world, make a 2D world look 3D, where you would get those sh shades, it's definitely possible, but it, that's gonna be a really big ch challenge. I would just, Celia, to be honest, I would actually just make, if you're just gonna have day and night maps, I would just make two sets of the tiles because you wanna change the color and then adjusting that shader to make it look really good might be a lot of work. It might be less in your skill set than uh, actually just creating two pixel art. But it's your choice, dude. Do, do what, do you, you do you, I do me. Um, 
So this, if it's falling and it goes off the screen at the bottom, then it destroys it. Yeah, I'm trying to think. So we have these. So what I want is like blocks falling up from the top, but it would be cool. Can you, s you can't set in the room, right? Again, I haven't used Game Maker that long. Let's see here. Do you guys know anybody experiencing Game Makers? Like if I put this object here, right? So I can flip X, flip Y, color, position, scale. Creation code. So I can put uh, some kind of creation code, which where I could put like certain stuff. That's also going to be confusing. I don't want to do that. Um, I'd rather have it so I can just paint it with the level editor. So I probably should have like a folder saying create group and have something that it's like. Uh, call them event blocks for now so I'll uh, duplicate this one call it object well let's not have a cloud let's not do that delete uh, let's do object the metal block instead and duplicate that one so in that when you fall down there should be events or like certain blocks that just fall on top of you so here, let's call this object metal uh, metal block event something. Mm. Game Maker won't let me log in. It says my login is wrong, but it's not. Well, try to reset your password. Sometimes it might help. How big is your team, Celio? It's good. Um, I hardly move, have the money to pay them, so they don't do much lately. Okay. Yeah, it's expensive to use to use um, to use uh, freelancers. It's expensive to make games, period. So that's why it's cool to find amazing people to work with. That are in, as invested as you that then work, you know, for the final payoff, not the first days of just getting money. Like the last day I needed concept art and I asked a concept artist, you know, and then he probably wants money. All right, so, mm, so let's put them here. So what I want to do is in the create code, so if I remember right, how do I disable the character when he dies? Let's see here, character, kill character. Visible is false. I put a mask. I save the temp mask. Put the visible to false. Set the stake to dead and all that kind of stuff. So this is the stuff I want. And then we go to update block. So this is all it's game mode last. So we could put here if, what's, what should we call them variable? Something like, um, mm, if it's an event block, I guess. I could also just check if the visible, visible is false. And then we set, of course, visible to true, and we put the temp mask into here. And then what I wanna do is, so we now have the false script here. Let's see that last. Actually, I wanted some part of that code, but let's see. Um, 
How many pick Unreal Engine for a game? For example, the Patreon, Patreon game that is small game was basically something we were making to get some budget. Oh, cool. Oh, you already used it from before. Yeah, that is the tool you know how to use. Then you should keep on at it. But uh, yeah, Unreal is probably much more complex than need to be compared to like something like Game Maker. Um, even if this is also has its own complexities. Uh, let's see here. But yeah. Crap. So here, this is gonna of course now be visible through it by default. So then when we go to the event blocks, we should actually have just run its own code here. But let's make a first beta version of it. So beta, beta. Mm. So just like in kill character, we'll just do the exact same thing here. So we'll set it to visible false mask temp mask we put into the current mask and we save it and we set it to so it doesn't collide with anything mm, and then we need to look at the falling script of the block so mechanics fall so if falling so then we should have here just this is fallable is now fallible fallable may fall it's kind of wrong but let's put it here that once it's and this now needs to of course check so uh, let's put it here the same thing basically it's the same thing as uh, here where it uh, deletes the block so if it's it's not the same thing sorry it's the reverse so when it enters the screen no sorry leaves the screen So it's above it then it's then it executes this piece of code which makes it visible and all that crap so we can actually well let's just put a compound if here and i didn't get it all copied so i have to add that oh did it all that um, automatically and then we what we also did is falling is true and is fall it's true. So it'll fall. So now let's see what happens. Um, isn't the cool rapper Coolio a rapper? Coolio. Ooh. We have some 2D help actually. Unreal lately has been pretty helpful with 2D games. Yeah, they're probably trying to push. Godot is also another one for uh, 2D that you can use. If you know C++ or I think it's not it's their own kind of version of C++ I'll use Unreal for 2D if there is something specific that you want to make advantage of um, this is a rush Celio says and that's the shaders in our case we use it for shaders in the fan game we decided to keep going yeah the shaders are almost because it's the ASLS usually HSLS it's almost like same in many engines like you can achieve the same effect with almost the same code paper tree is pretty useful for using unreal yeah, that's actually comes from flash side i think paper 2d but yeah if the coders it's basically the coders who decide what game and programmers so celio is the artist so he probably doesn't have a lot of influence yeah a lot of people kind of have hate for game maker uh, but I think it's all for the wrong reasons. Godot has C++ APIs and Python has script. Exactly. So it has APIs to C++. Okay. I haven't used it myself. So I just glanced at it and I was like, that doesn't look like C++. Like. So let's see here. Maybe this will work now. I didn't put, oh, I didn't put any object in the game. So the idea is that when you fall, when the screen has gone past, it will fall past the screen. So let's say we take this object metal block, and then so we go here, 
blocks, event blocks this, and then we draw one right there. So we fall past that. It should be invisible in the beginning, and then it should become visible and fall past us. Or not. Should really fix the dead zone on that. Nope. So that didn't work. Let's see. I didn't really code it that fast, so let's see here what, what I did. Mm, Stealth or Zerzo. I learned all the basic sharp this afternoon right from generic class. Now I just went to find where to practice and learn. Yeah. Well, just play around. Cool to see anyone else using Godot. Yeah, tell me, Scotty. Yeah, Godot sounds very interesting and it's an up and coming engine, I think. Uh, a lot of other engines are much more used, but I think there's interesting stuff happening there. Sup, Iron Master? Welcome to the stream. We are uh, creating bugs. This shouldn't be here. You can't do this because it's setting the visible there. That is what is wrong. Well, we only have one block. Let's see what that does first. Let's see here. Do we have the... If Y is... Smaller than... Why is that horizontal view? No, no, no. This, is, this needs to be this. There we go. I deleted the wrong uh, variable. Let's see. Uh, this is when you don't pay attention. There we go. So now it passed and it gets deleted once it goes out. And I think it gets deleted right now a bit early. Maybe we can put here like a plus some like... I think 36 is the size of the block, so that should be enough. I should probably make that so it detects the size of the block. Zika is the Godot spokesman. Yeah, he is uh, hired by uh, Godot. I think one of the things that's still lacking Godot is documentation. I had some ideas I wanted to work on in Godot, and frustrated with the documentation, I gave up before writing any code. Yeah, I think the reason Unity got so popular, was, well, except being free, that was the first step. The second step was really building the community and the documentation. Um, not saying their documentation is amazing, but it's quite easy to get into. Uh, and they have a lot of tutorials and a lot of support. Yeah. And Game Maker is like second to Unity. It's not amazingly documented, but a bit better. There we go. There we go. It falls past. So now we can have stuff flying past you. So the idea is that you could then now we can build levels. So we go to this test area, which is just a test level to have all kinds of weird stuff in here. Oh, let's not create that. I really hope they would... Cr the level designer of Game Maker, I don't understand why it's so bad. Maybe there is... Is there an external... Someone made an external level editor for Game Maker? Please tell me if there is one. So now what you could do, what we can do is like put a lot of objects here. So now when you fall past, there should start raining all kinds of scrap on you. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Try it again. I'm not going to select any characters. Oh, I found one. Cool. Just post the link. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't really looked. <laughs> so if anybody just went like, "Oh, I'll Google that," I'll probably find. Because this thing is really painful to use. Oh. I saw a small bug there. Let's restart. Oh. It's 
still have some kind of particle effects attached to it. Oh no, look. There is some slight bug there. Maybe it's like because they start appearing too er uh, too early. So maybe, oh, not here. Let's go to the blocks update script and then let's go here and just do minus 36 on this. Oh, not inside of that. Key and kill code, because some say this is good. Game alternate room editor. Donut, no. Work in progress, image one. Now this is starting to look something that looks interesting. Auto tiles, that's awesome. Huh, I have to take a look at that. Thanks, dude. I'll keep it open in the browser so I don't lose it. Mapeditor.org. Oh, tiled. I've used tiled before. Yeah, I think this use works also, yeah. But how do you... It would be nice if it detected the game maker objects. I don't know if it does that. Support us! But yeah, this, is a, this also works with some of the Unity plugins. Clermont Scotty, two powers out, by the way, if you want to have it in compiled latest version for yourself. Yeah. Be careful with beta versions. I've just been siphoning off someone else's beta builds. There's plugins for Tiled for everything. <laughs> yeah, Tiled is really used. Maybe there there might be also for Game Maker. I've used that, so I know how to use it a bit. So yeah, so now we moved it up like minus 36. So it'll be a bit later. Once the camera's gone past a bit, minus is upwards in Game Maker. So let's look at that again. Yeah, that looks better. So now we need to make not all objects being like that because we now updated the block. We should create the same thing like here, like is if event block if is I don't know what to call them do you have a quick time event it's not like a quick time it's like a if it's dropping if it's if it's gonna be like coming from upwards not from here hmm, what would I call it naming event I don't know. Then do all this crap. This is also part of the fall. Mm, now you have the have to have the realistic fear wind drag, etc. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if realistic is <laughs> I will put some wind and drag and stuff like that, but this will be very arcadey for sure. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's always cool to play around with that stuff. I just know, you know, when I get excited, I, as a programmer, I would love to do that. It's just, you can lose your life. Trying to make it realistic is what I mean, like starting reading up on the physics and the acts. exact thing. Exact thing. So this is actually... It's really ugly code. I don't like it. I don't like it. So it's only in this game mode for now that it's gonna happen. Uh, I should create like enum with types of blocks and then uh, it would... Uh, actually, uh, I could create it where it executes different things like controllers depending on what type of block it is. But I guess this is what we have for now. It's, there's no point in going going gung-ho on this we already have this all this crap I wonder if you put because you can't mix these anyways they're like 
only one can be true anyways. They could as well be like an enum and be like, oh, it's an event block or something. So here I would say, is event block true? And I think also the metal block had its own create, so just so it doesn't crash. This is nothing, the basic metal block. Uh, naming things makes sense for the future self, one of the most challenging issues in programming. Yeah. You would think programs would have like amazing names for kids or something because we like go through naming stuff. But if you have problem naming something, sometimes the name doesn't become apparent before you developed it enough when you start knowing what is the essence of what you're creating. So for example, now I know that that variable should be actually an enum. It probably should be named like a uh, block type. Uh, and then uh, I probably should make something where it ex ex executes a different stack of code depending on what type it is. Not, uh, you could also create a switch if you wanted. Um, okay. Also, I think I disabled the thing that keeps you on the screen because it, I was fixing some bug. More ugly code to uh, exist there. Ugly code is the best code when you're prototyping. Sup, Asimbi? You missed everything. We fixed all the bugs. Everything's working perfectly. We finished the game. Um, we're actually gonna ship it now, and um, you missed it. We were like giving out free copies earlier, and you know, sorry, dude. Oh yeah, I usually don't even start writing the code until I have some idea of what kind of data structure I'm actually gonna need for it, and then aggressively refactor when the picture changes. Yeah, um, that's especially for web development, really important when you have like data-driven applications. The thing is with um, with uh, games is the thing is it's very hard to know what's fun. So you could create crazy like plan of how you will structure things. Like you get used to certain structure over time, like just for types of stuff I'm not saying this is what I'm used to I'm just come up with something that works in game maker but um, the thing is that things change so often so quickly because you're trying to find what like this game right now is not even that fun we still have to work a lot on it like it's polish it I don't even know if this rotational thing should be here so now you can't Where's the objects falling? We created the bug! We did set that. So it's still there, right? I didn't delete them in mistakes. So they are there. And here in the create, I did put the is event block to true. <laughs> Creeper killer! Really? I missed it that I was here! Oh my god! Oh, voting time! So in the community thing... Oh, Epic Tavern! Oh, I'm gonna vote for them. Sorry, I'm in the other chat. We're voting. They're awesome. If you haven't checked the Epic Tavern, um, they're the guys who are making, uh, they just got their kickstart and then they've gone greenlit. It's, uh, they're making a tavern game where you have a tavern and uh, you're managing the tavern. And, uh, holy crap. Ah, so Epic Tavern, yeah, so you manage and then you collect adventures and send them out to do adventures. 
How do we see the list? All right. Um, sorry, got uh, distracted by uh, uh, by this uh, the game dev community chat. All right, back to programming. So did did we fix it? No, we didn't. Why? What did we do? What have we done? What have we done? Update block. So game mode is last. Is event block is here. And then if it is an event mod, it executes this piece of code. And then it says falling to true and fallable to true. Blood trail? Yeah, it doesn't work anymore. We broke it before we even started it. What? So here we are setting it right to this event block, and this is now named. It would probably throw a hissy fit if it wasn't named correctly. So it's not that. What is this music? I personally don't like this song. Oh, sorry. Sure, post ahead, Celio. Arash, you're not answering him. Uh, Epic Tavern won uh, the vote. Congrats. Um, let's see here. Ah, uh, yeah, trail. We could add that. That wouldn't be hard. We could use a particle effect, maybe? What kind of trail would look good? It probably actually should be like a... Maybe a particle effect would be something you could do. Ah, uh, yeah. It's getting better. out a bit. A cloud trail, like like they're smoking. Yeah, it could be a cloud sprite. Yeah, it looks better now that this is, these are more matching in color, the, the gradient and the... Because this, you still have add shading here, so... Even if you're gonna move, then do it in, in coding too. All right, let's see here. What else? What else to do? What else to do? Ah? So, yes. Bugs. Bug, bug hunting time. Why is it not... So it worked when we had this right here, right? So now it works. Let's try it. No, I guess not. What did we do? What did we do? Visible set to true. What did I break? And we are overriding the create event here. Hey, I just made a pixel background in Game Maker, but when I stretch it out, it gets blurred. You know how to turn off any obviously. So uh, it's probably that when you go to global game settings, you go, you click here, you go to windows, global game settings, switch tab to windows, go to graphics, and then turn this off. Interplay colors between pixels. It's giving you the free anti-aliasing. Try that, see if it looks better. Oh, don't close it. So, it's fallable. 
crawling. I don't see any difference. So this is what the code we had before. And this is what type of object. This is a... How do you see the type of object here? Metal block events. It's the event block. I'm gonna switch the music, I don't like this one. No problem, level one, two. So I guess I didn't, we didn't see anything drop. I didn't pay attention. Let's see here, come on guys. What happened there? Yeah, I didn't see anything fall. It's in the beginning. So falling is not set to true, I hope. Let's see here. Falling. Falling is set to false and it's not somewhere else here set to true because then you would delete it. Maybe it still is deleting it. Let's try it. Let's remove this falling code. So you see it's not deleting it before it gets to the... Uh, well, why didn't it do it before and not and suddenly start? Doing it? We did put this that it can't exit the screen. Let's see if it's that in the translate where it shouldn't be really. Could be this. I don't think that would cause it, right? Oh, it would. All right. Well, now we fixed it at least. So we'll we'll enable that later. It's not really important right now. Let's put this back so we know that this wasn't the thing called. It. This wasn't causing it. And we need to make a better. That needs refactoring already. There we go. There we go. I don't really want that many of those things. Now, the thing is that's very weird is that the collider of some things are like. When you're falling, it's like shifted for some reason. Like, if I go with the this character, it's like the collider's all the way from here to... Sometimes with a game maker, you could draw the collider so you could see them. Probably could do that with the draw event, so I could draw... Let's see here, let's make a thing that can draw outlines. We need a helper that draws it. Let's make a function called, called draw collider. Maybe there is something already like that. Let's see here. Game maker draw collider mask. Collider bounding boxes. That's Unity, not Game Maker. Well, we can just do game maker. I think it's like draw a rectangle or something. There we go. Outline. This function will draw either an outline of a rank or a filled rectangle with X and Y. But the rectangle is drawn filled, false, or without. 
So what we will do is just take this. We can just do Let's just do a simple thing. We don't have to even pass arguments, which would be the B box. So this is what was this? This is the X. So left, B box, right, B box, top, B box, bottom. So now in the Let's go check here, uh, the character object, and the draw, let's just add this draw collider. And welcome everybody that's new to the stream. Today is the boring day where I do boring programming, and you can see me playing around with game maker language. Um, on Mondays, you have Arash who does exciting art and exciting design concepts and works with mood boards and stuff like that. And on Tuesday, we have a show where we do, um, we first talk about design and game development in general, what's happened in the past week, whatever, whatever you guys want to talk about actually, for about an hour. And then after that, uh, we uh, give critique and feedback on games. So if you're working on a game and you want feedback, you can submit your game to us. Just go to gamedevcompany.com slash game, or just go to gamedevcompany.com press submit your game and uh, you forgot to mention the dances yeah and then we do dances when you host the dances with the hosts we are dancing with the hosts so you can dance with us we do dancing we do all kinds of weird stuff <laughs> so and all of us like to talk a lot so we're a talk centric streamer even if I'm now really quiet because I'm trying to go uh, and uh, yeah, so you can submit your game and we'll give you, and uh, what we try to do is like, we're not going to give you critique, or we're not going to criticize, and we're not going to give you reviews. So we're not going to be like, I don't like dragons, why do you make dragons, dragons suck. That's not the type of feedback we're trying to give you. It's more like, oh, uh, do testing for you. So first off, you should look at our faces, you should look at what are we enjoying. You'll get feedback from that, just seeing gamers playing your um, game. And the other thing is, of course, we've both been... Uh, designing and making games for a long time so we can give you our what kind of sticks out for us in the game like oh what we think you should be working on or what you could improve yeah exactly and dancing is the most important part of the stream oh a simbi thanks for the host and clearly i don't have a sound for that now i couldn't hear that that was very interesting i hope <laughs> i hope i haven't missed anything so uh how many follows have i missed I hope someone follows the phone. Now we must dance! So we mute the music, and now comes the art part. Where do we have it? Here we go! Oh, weird. Maybe my music is so loud for me. I need to see myself. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Yay! We're getting hosted! <laughs> Sue? Uh oh. Shiba Inu is our uh, mascot of our stream. Some have pugs, some have cats. We have Shibas. And then we need to do dancing. That ending is. I like the ending. I just want to play that. Like. Come on, jump there. Do it! <laughs> okay. Oops, I closed it. Oh no. I guess we have to reopen it when uh, someone hosts us. So now we can see where the collider is. <laughs> yeah, that that was sent by Starlight Skies. She's an awesome streamer. You should go and check her out, Starlight Skies. Um uh, she's a long-time game developer and an artist. Um and she sent us that video. It's like, "Oh, you should dance to this." And I was like, "Ah, oh, we can do it. Dog dance, Habibi. Dog dance. So now we should see the colliders. The colliders look correct. But why am I colliding there? Look. It shouldn't be colliding. Ah. 
I have an idea. So this is where it's going to be, right? Let's remove this. I don't really need this. We're not going to get stuck in walls for now too much in this edition of the game. We still need this code, but we can uh, have it for later. Yeah, that's the link in the chat. You can check her out. Give her a follow if you like what she does. She just got partnered though. And William Trur does also got partnered. Everybody's getting partnered. It's partner mania. So now... Uh, it's not that part, which I guessed. It's something to do with this. So this is checking the vertical. So you we're adding the the. So what if we don't add the vertical speed? But we have to because it's checking the vertical. Very odd. Very odd. Everybody except you, game dev company. He has an idea. Sudden quietness. Everybody. Oh, it's quiet. Because we have no music. You have to have lots of music because I go quiet. Yeah, everybody except me is partnered. But hey, we just started, what, three, four months ago? <laughs> if I was partnered, I don't think that's right. There's so many streamers who've been on it for a long time. Uh, Rush and I are not even concerned about getting partnered. We just want to create weird, awesome content for you guys and create this community where, you know, everybody's talking about game development, learning stuff, sharing, learning. And that's also the reason why we keep pushing you to like Starlight Skies, William Chur, Liatu also streams, who's in the chat. Uh, the, he's the Duke Liatu. Very cool. Uh, he does like a, a thing with boxing gloves where you can kind of I think he's using microcontrollers and making for mobile where you can box and like virtual boxing. He can tell you uh, more. So um, why we push you guys to that is not because we have anything <laughs> invested in them. It's because we want you guys to look at everybody, look at game developers, learn from them. And we want more game, game developers in the world. And we want to build this positive community because a lot of it's time you spend, especially when you go to kind of corporate world, it's so negative and it's so like you yeah, the only right way to make games C++ and uh, you have to uh, do this and that Yeah, Quasi got partnered really quickly Oh, he did the half a year as in the half a year. That's quite long But yeah, he he did community building even before on Twitch. I think from almost day one he had like a thousand people there or 600 or something but he's amazing it's also he earns it definitely but yeah uh we are not good enough for partner habibis yeah i don't think it's good enough it's about i think it wouldn't bring any value to twitch and it wouldn't bring value to us to be partnered right now because you know the only thing that i would say is a positive thing for being partnered for us right now would be that you guys don't have to watch ads, but then again, you know, um, we are not here to get partnered or anything like that. We are here to entertain you, to build communities and uh, have fun. Exactly. Do not worry. So, uh, I was seriously saying, I was thinking about I was thinking I absolutely don't need the walls of the roof separate from the floor, so I decided to mesh them. Spoiler, now you the floor doesn't look terrible. <gasps> good, dude. It's good to... Um, this is why you... The number one thing, which I think everybody who streams development shares, is that it's so awesome to share your development with the community. Because you get instant feedback. And uh, you also have an audience to get feedback. So that's why I love that people are sharing their demo uh, games and their art or stuff they're working in our chat because and not it's not just about like I'm right now just coding our game. That's just to, you know, talk the talk and not just 
like walk the talk, talk the walk the walk and talk the talk to show what we're working on. But I really like to show your guys stuff because you can then get feedback from a lot of different people and uh, you know some feedback you ignore and some you take to heart and that's the thing like you learn how you know some people like um, when you get feedback some feedback is not going to be relevant because of the direction you're going like for example I was giving feedback for Twitch community bot thing and uh, then I talked to some of the staff and I got to know that that wasn't their main purpose and then the feedback was irrelevant um, so and that's the same thing when you're making a game you're gonna get so you need to practice and like don't be reactive in that way. You have to react when you get feedback, but react the right way and know when it's really good feedback and when it, you know, it isn't. Most probably it's a good feedback if they can really build a good case that you understand about, you know, show the logic of why are they correct or wrong or what, what is the thing, the background of it. Cool Proto Lambda, please do share it and send it to us so we can play it, we can play your project. Um, and I'm even doing pixel art on stream, I'm not an artist, so... Well, everybody's an artist, as Arash would say, but I, I'm not a very practiced one, I haven't practiced enough. Um... So, it is... So in the draw phase, draw happens, I think, uh, after the step event, right? Could it be that it has all the objects haven't moved yet? So when everything is falling, everything is kind of considered to be 20 pixels below. So when I've checked this, not everything has moved. So it depends a bit on the the execution order, I think it's going to be considered. So this, in a way, this should also check for the object speed and compensate for that because it's not a static object. Oh, you're writing a Twitch bot, cool. Um, yeah, definitely share that too. Um, it's, <laughs> it's kind of funny that Twitch is kind of making IRC bots popular again. Sure, go ahead, Celio. If you're gonna post the thing for your um, a link to your uh, art thing, you can just go ahead in the future. Just do it. Uh, at least during this stream. That's okay. Why we ask you to you know, tell us about the link first? Oh, thanks for the follow, Rekt. One, two, three. Hope we are not wrecked yet. <laughs> Welcome to the game dev community. Let's look at it. Yeah, that looks definitely better. You're getting there. Keep iterating, keep iterating, keep iterating. I think every time you post something, it has become, you know, 10% better. So every time you just keep working on it and uh, I think you're getting there dude and I think Arash probably in his thing would give you even better more feedback I'm the programmer but maybe Arash will see it now in the stream Arash take a look maybe you can give some textual feedback okay. sorry hiccup mm, proto lambda checking again checking things like sprite angles object waves and whatnot collision is not all yeah it's not that dude it is working um, Mm, I have it centered, so it depends. I, I'm quite sure that, you know, um, it's not that. It's the, the thing that it's, uh, because everything is falling. It's actually physical, like here you can see where the object is. So it is colliding. The problem is that, but uh, that uh, because of the execution order, it thinks It thinks that it's like 20, depends on which one executes first. It's actually, it's like, um,
Damn, your criticism is amazing. Ah, you know exactly what to do next. <laughs> it's good. Keep on going. Sometimes you just need a push that you know that you're working in the right direction, and that's all you need. Um, and that's another thing that I think our community provides. But how can we know? So now the thing is that everything is falling, right? But if this executes its code first... And then moves it. It checks for collision before it moves. Then this checks for collision it moves. So... The thing is, the other thing we could do is... It checks... First, everything collides before it moves anything and then moves it, but that's not gonna... Like, what happened? What would happen? Let's just try it just for... For giggles and laughs. Let's giggle and laugh it off and see what happens sometimes. So we have a begin and an update step. So what if we took... Then we need to move all of this. I think this is fine to go, right? What? So what if you do this? Let's see what happens now. I've had a clotting problem in one of my drama games, but it turned out to be ready to keyboard input and release. What song is this? It's good! This is... Fossil Fuse Sonic the Hedgehog 2 by Game Chops Joshua Morse. So check him out. It's game a bit the uh, remixes. Oh crap. I pressed jump. Yeah, it's still doing it. Hmm, let's not have it here though. Let's move it back to the anchor main. I think I understand what's wrong. I'm just trying to figure out how could I solve it. It kind of should move everything at... The problem comes from because What game is this? Most probably people will know. I'm so happy how my game jam turned uh, jam game. Can't believe I made that in three days. Exactly, Slash Ray. When you have like limited time, you push yourself much more. When you have lots of excess time, you're being lazy and not really prioritizing a lot of time right. When you really have to finish something, you have to prioritize. Mario, exactly. I like Mario music. Let's see here. Jump, pick up, dancing. Let's see here. What else? Yeah, I could, but I don't know. It'll take a min minute. I don't know if. Uh, because I also have a lot of windows in the other screen, so. Hmm. Maybe I could try, Let's see here. I'll anyway cover it with some like weird stuff anyway later on. So let's see here. So this needs to go maybe in there then. Uh, so that would be like, a... yeah. It's a bit hard because I would have to somehow I don't want to share the whole other screen. You can all see all the all kind of OBS stuff. I can add that in the future though. I can also add it so it just has a text file so it's like part of the GUI. Yeah, yeah. You can use the browser plugin, but then I would have to create it. But yeah, I'm not gonna do it now. But yeah, good idea. We can show what we're listening to. Uh, for sure. 
Um, let's see here. Applies a gravity. Now we apply collision. Basically, what it should do here is like it should check collision where it's going to be and not where it is. So when you're going to the object collidable. Where do we have, I'm sorry, not collidable, I mean uh, kind of the collision script, where do we have it? So right now it's checking with this object, but it's just checking where the object is, not where it's going to be. In the future. Hmm. So it depends on some characters that will work right correctly with depending on the execution order. Oh well, I don't know if that's something I can solve right now without spending a lot of time thinking how to do it. Cool, yeah, definitely add that kind of features. Uh, you can, uh, there's also the some have the song, exclamation song, and then you see what people are playing. So what the problem is that, oh crap, let's dodge those. So is that this is actually, when this is executed, this guy is actually still here. And then he moves down because of gravity. So for example, let's disable gravity. Now nothing will fall. Let's just disable everything. What the, what the game is this, guys? Oh crap! What did I, what did I fly up for? There we go. Oh, I can't do them. I think it's in the jump script. Let's see here. Mechanics jump. So this checks if our vertical speed is. Let's remove that so we don't have to have that. Oh, oh crap. Oh crap. This is very sensitive. Oh crap. Uh, how is it that sensitive? It's interesting. Let's just try regular vertical speed. Let's not uh, multiply it with a. Uh, Sorry, vertical axis. Oh, so now, when nothing is moving, right? Now probably the collision will work correctly. As you can see, now I can even stand on him. And he can stand on me, which we probably don't want when you fall. Um, and then it can crash the game. Um, so the problem is that when it's falling really fast, it's not, it's kind of like, uh, if this object, uh, sorry, if this object has been has already executed, so when this is checking for the collision, this one hasn't run yet, so it hasn't moved down yet, so it's checking and it says like, yeah, it's colliding. Then it runs this, and if you're 20 pixels below, so you should it should know that if the object is falling. So what instead of place meeting, we should do the same thing as with, which is much slower, which is kind of sad. Uh, at least for vertical, which is... Um... So like, just like in is grounded, we take the, we check... Uh... Oh. You're doing a collision rectangle. I think there's an instance place or something that returns. I think I'm using it in the attack script, right? I can't remember these. All of them correct. So it returns the object also. So let's see here. Init character. We have attack. I think here we have, for example. Yeah, so. Not instance create. Instance place, yeah. So 
so here what we could do instead is like instead of that we could say instance plays this stuff let me say var so this is vert collision and then if vert if vert collision is is not noon then it runs that and then what we could do here is that the thing that it should compensate for the other objects we don't really need to have that i just like to have that so but it's in y so would it be minus vertical collision vertical speed That means every collider should have a vertical speed though, which it doesn't necessarily. Huh? Let's just enable the gravity again. It will be easier. It's not made to not have gravity. And that's enabled again. All right. That's a nightbot feature. I'm not trying to replicate it, but song request info will. Yeah. You don't need to replicate something that already exists. Crap. Let's just start from here. So now when I collide, oh crap, I went inside of him. That's not what I wanted. Okay, now it's not doing it, weirdly enough. What's going on? It's very weird now. Oh. Here we need times movement. Oh crap, what am I writing? Times movement speed. So what are you guys working on? Come on, uh, let's look at something interesting. Uh, are you guys working on anything? You have any coding problems? Anything you think I can help with? There we go, now it's moving a bit faster. And uh, then I'm inside of him again. Yeah, I'm still colliding here. Maybe it's plus, actually. It should be minus. No, wait, it can't do this either. I don't think this will work. You know what I'm working on. Yeah, I know, Celio. I'm just asking in general, guys. Yeah, but this, oh crap, crash. Yeah, this is not a good idea. It does not like my falling. One way would be that they're actually not falling, but that's kind of boring. So I kind of still want to keep that in there. Does it only happen after you collide with the mirror? Oh, I don't know why it's jammed just now. It's probably because it's... Yeah. So here... So as you can see, it's colliding there. So I'm pressing right, but he's not moving that right. And here he's also not going down. For static games, this collision system, so I would have to do something that. Hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, I might have to do a different kind of collision system. That's the bad part of this. Oh no, we have to rewrite everything. Hmm, let's see here. Ah, oh, stretchy. All right, I need coffee. Coffee time. Let's take a pause. I can work on something else since then. What is good enough? Ah. Oh, wrong. Press down. Yeah. I think it's good enough. Start working on other things and then you could look at it again once you get to, uh, you know, have a bit of world around and you can go back if there's anything that kind of uh, peaks its head up, like something looks off. So when you have a lot of buildings and stuff. Mm, so let's see here. Yeah, I don't think there's any point in trying to fix this right now. One way I could maybe do this, actually. Hmm. And that would be like right now in the translate, we're, what are we doing here? Let's put that down a bit so it doesn't, I don't really want this anymore. We can figure that out later. Wrapping we can have there and then horizontal speed times. So we're moving it here So here we could instead set Is equals previous Is it previous X X previous Do we have like code completion? Pre I think there's like something like X previous. Uh, how make you make an acceleration of the acceleration, slowing down the acceleration and the collision since the acceleration speed? Yeah. The thing is, I want stuff to land on stuff. So, right now I'm just having free falling, but in the future it would be cool if there's like a, a thing where then it stops, basically. That way it would be not to have all that kind of thing. Or then have everything always falling. So, which means nothing is falling. And then it's just about timing and moving the background. That won't anyway be possible. Yeah, let's not to do that now. I think this is too, uh, it's a very complex thing. I have to rethink it from kind of an architectural level of how I want to build this game. And that's not that interesting stream time. Sitting me, oh, be on a little sleep for 30 minutes. You know? Let's do something more exciting. So, the other thing I wanted to make the able, the 
Sure, Pro Lambda, you can take a look. It's uh, in Game Game Dev Company under Game Dev Company GitHub. But uh, I have an idea of what I want to do. But let's see. If you uh, you can mess around with it if you want, definitely. Um, it's just that I I do have an idea of what to do. The thing is that that's gonna take a lot of time and thinking. I want to try because the thing is that falling view won't be the only thing that's happening. It's going to also have a uh, stuff where it's not falling and it needs to work there also. And then you have four characters and stuff like that. So I have to see. I have to think about where this game is going. Mm, Reevaluate it. Let's see here. Because in the end, I do know that you don't have to make the actual. Oh! Crap. You cook the constant. There we go. I do know that we don't have to make uh, things fall. You can make it so that it looks like it's falling by just moving the background. Is the game currently using any entity like abstractions? Uh, this is not an OOP engine, so you can't, there's a lot of things you can't do. Um. It's not true, OOP. You don't have any classes, nothing. Per se. I'm trying to think. But yeah. There's certain things just that makes it much easier to do if it actually is falling in space because the thing is we might want levels where it's like this I can show you guys where uh, if we go to actually the um, let's see here test area so let's take this metal block oh objects here objects blocks metal block and then we just put in some metal blocks here. Mm. And there's other problems also with this kind of thinking, but we have to I have to think about what to do yet. I haven't yet solved all the stuff. So if we go here now. Oh, there's still some weird animation problem here. Uh, but anyway, so you might want to have, I might want to have parts, parts where you can actually uh, uh, run around and do stuff. Yeah, the idle. Oh, it's this, it's this gamepad. I'm going to change this. This is annoying me. So the gamepad that's a bit, that's a bit bigger. I have, but I do have to adjust to get dead zone at some point. I'm just too lazy to do it right now because that's kind of a polished thing. You just take a controller that has a no broken. It's not uh, used so much that the. Oh, it's still doing it slightly. Let's see. Yeah, it still has a slight offset. Oh. I think I used to round it or something. So then if you don't have the... I don't know, I took the uh, thing and everybody else was left behind. But there's a lot of stuff I still have to figure out, like camera movement. But I think all of those are solvable. It's just a matter of working it through it. Which of course requires time. This is a very complex game because there's like 
different stuff happening. Right now I'm focusing on making the falling fun, so it's not as important. But I do wanna, I like that it has the option of, of but if it becomes a problem, I will uh, recode it and then say like, oh, there will be no static places where you're not falling. Is Alt D not working? Log in. Not logging in. Delete the object. Okay, right click, right click. That's what makes it a bit pro. If I want to keep that darling in there. But then again, the falling is also kind of not proven yet that it's gonna be fun. And then again, I need to work on it first. And I do understand, I have a good idea why it's doing that. Like, let's see here. Let's go to character select instance order. Does it show which one is which? So this is now executing first, so if I move it down, and then let's press play. Oh, did it, did it, did it save it? No. Move it down. Okay. So now probably will be, most probably working correctly. So if I go here, it most probably won't be colliding right there. Oh, it is still. Well, it's hard to say. I still have a guess that it's because it's executing in a certain way. But this would be anyway a problem because you could hit then people who are jumping if they're falling. Yeah, I already have like when it's, if you reach the max velocity, the game changes a bit. So the controls change. It might be something like that, yeah. But it would be cool to fix that too. It's very interesting that it is actually doing that. Oh, you should the rush, you should show it to everybody. Uh, not just in Discord. I will open it in Discord. Ah, oh, look at it. What did he say? What did he say? What do you want to fix? Uh, oh, Hyden's streaming too. <laughs> cool. Alright. Mm. It's weird. It's the only thing that's bugging is that thing. But it's good because this this is actually a bug in the whole system and a lot of people are actually using similar code to do the collision. It's weird that it's doing it correctly from below. Which still gives me to think that it's something to do with what, how the execution is working. Hmm. Another way would be that actually, like right now, uh, the object character is an object collidable. Like what if the characters don't need to, they don't need to uh, collide at all? Do we need to have the characters colliding? Like what, is it bad if they would go through each other? Then we don't have to deal with that right now. Of course, it's still... But then we have no interaction between characters. Hmm. PUNCH! What's punch? No, no, well, yeah, you can't punch them. That's the interaction we have. Right now. Oh, I'm player number two suddenly. That's interesting. Yeah. You can still hit people. But even that's not gonna bug because if you hit above them, then... 
Hmm. What if I remove the rotate for now? Let's see what it looks like. Sometimes it's good to remove code and remove features to see just how it feels. The rotation is kind of a an old idea. I wonder what, what it would be like. I don't think that changes the collider though. Oh yeah, we don't collide right now. The thing is it would be cool if people are going like like when they hit there would be like a, a thing what if there wasn't no punch you just collide with each other and that's like then you just basically you're hitting someone in the air and then you could have a punch but then you have to kind of that's more like when you're on the ground so you'll be like psh, 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 when you're on the ground and then you have like in the air it's like you're just hitting each other um, but it doesn't need to be collision per se of course, it could be just, but it should still, it's still gonna check it the same way, so. Punch! One punch man, all right. I'm suddenly player two for some reason, but. Oh crap, the pieces are falling on me. Yeah, this is still doing it. Can I somehow change where the collider is? Hmm. Hazards of precise collision. Holy crap, what are these guys doing? Hmm. The other thing would be to use their built-in collision, but I kind of really don't like that. And yeah, this won't work. Hmm. Oh, we have a Spanish people collision speed. Collision speed minus speed times one point five should make colliding fun now slow down with lower acceleration. Yeah. So basically, you're, are you saying like um, that when you collide, the whole you kind of hit stuff like, poof, like you fly up. And then you, like the idea would be like you would have like this kind of aerial combat. So you could move faster also maybe. Oh, the rotation works fine. I don't think rotation is the problem. But yeah. And I am using their own like collision stuff here. I could write it myself. Do you say Spanish collision? This is Spanish. This is the Spanish collision system and that's why it doesn't work. Yeah, this is not maybe the right collision system for our game.
This is not what I should do, but let's see what does this do. We don't take the... The Spanish system that doesn't work! Oh damn, it's like school all over. Yeah, it's still doing it. Oh, it's actually bugging more now. Not here, it's very weird. I think it definitely depends on the execution order because otherwise it would also collide here. For him. Him or her? Hmm, even I am bored with this. Hmm, all right. I wonder if I should work on something else. It gets a bit, I don't think uh, we can solve this right now. It's not something that's unsolvable. Most probably I have to either take consider consideration the speed of the, where it's going to be the object because it hasn't moved yet. So kind of move everything. The other thing would make it is that what is the previous one? Well, let's try it. Let's give it a try. Previous X. I think there was an X previous or something. It's often useful to know when your instance was previous. When you're solving collision, for example, you, and so you can use this function to get the value for use. It's normally stored just before the start of the game but can be set through code at any time, meaning you can give it your own custom value that's necessary. So what we could do is, here for example, we can use, well, we can use X, but like previous. So let's put all the Y's to Y previous. And now it should still work the same. Let's just reset it, it's just faster. Yep, it works the same. And then what we could do is, um, so what we can do then is actually, this is kind of fixing the, the, the movement. And then in object character, sorry, we can go, we have now here, so we go in the begin update and we have then the, the first update and begin update, so we can take the gravity, apply it here. Here's the check for collision, blah, 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 there's translating. And then what we can do here is set X to plus equals, basically it's the same as the translate. I wonder if we can just do translate. So we're doing two times translation now. See what happens now. Oh, crap. You're not supposed to fall there. Oh. Please do not execute this if you're not in the game. We don't need to execute that if it's in the game. So now we're moving it. Oh, crap. Oh. And then what we need to do is, here we need to put X to previous uh, sorry, we're just doing Y previous Y. Y previous, crap. I think I didn't do it in the collision for that. We should do it for both though. Let's do it for both. X previous, Y previous, and then you know, also in the collision. Detection, collisions, collisions. Instead of this, we use previous, which is the or we move. D 
they are super dark compared to front wall. Uh, 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 uh. Oh crap! Well, it might work, but it for some reason crashes. Very weird. Is it maybe the is grounded thing one? Let's see here. So in the stack. Actually we can reset this after collision. And then we might want to check grounded here already. But let's see if it bugs out again. Nope. Yep, now it works. No more bugs. Except that one. So now I can fly correctly. So it was the execution order, basically. So now it's moving everything first, then re-checking collision after that, and then moving it back. And then, yeah. There we go. Oh yes, but yeah, now it works, it works. Of course, now we should apply this to everything. So it, this is the same logic for everything, not just this. So also for the, all the stuff. So might wanna, I might wanna refactor that. So now the next thing I wanna work on, like in Arash's game concept art. Arash, do you have the concept art, dude? Could you send that to me if you have it? So in his concept art, the character is kind of flying and then there's broken pieces. It kind of looks like he's smashing through stuff. So what I was thinking is would be that would be cool while you're flying. So let's say we create here like, um, uh, like in the world, like if you go down here and we would, let's go down here somewhere. Uh, an idea I had was like, let's put here like blocks, metal block or something. So if there's, oh, floating point error, don't have to do that. So if there was something like this here, you could fly and then if you're pressing downward, you smash through it. So, you know, you just press down while you're falling, which is like you're diving like this and then you just go and then the brick thing gets broken and I should also remove I have too many things falling here right now it's like annoying can I do now do all the yeah now I can do it let's just have a couple as a proof of concept so like there's a couple of these so we always know it's working there's a floating island, exactly. There's a plane and you go like, and then the plane breaks in half. So now, there's the thing. So now I hit that and now, if I get pushed off the screen, you would die and lose the game. So if I just keep here, it's now in there. So if I press down, it would just smash through it. So, what we need to check then is like, when you hit that thing, I wonder which one it will execute first though. It depends a bit. Smash brother. Oh, that's the previous. Oh, and there's the GitHub uh, link. Oh, that's the wrong. No? Previous? Current? 
I think you guys are spending way too much time overthinking this art. It's not like probably the final art. He's probably gonna work on it and create a lot of things. You shouldn't get stuck on this small details. Just let work through it and don't worry about it mm, too much. Ah, Ross sent the picture. Uh, open original. So here you can see the the concept art. Holy crap, that's like high res. We should just have this in the thing all the time. I need I need to save this somewhere. Desktop sounds good. Let's close a bit of stuff. Yeah. So uh, here you can see. So it looks like this guy's smashing through this, even if he isn't. It'd be cool if you do. Oh, those are all. Ah, oh, okay, cool. It kind of looks like this one's smashing through this, even if he isn't. And uh, we need those uh, speed speed lines too. Which we probably could create somehow with maybe particle effects or something like that. Let's one figure that out later. But so metal block. So let's say every block will have that feature that if you hit it with max velocity. So if you're smashing, so would that be a property of the character? I guess a mechanic. So we create a script called smash. So if Vertical speed is equal equals or bigger than uh, vertical. I think it's max speed. Let's see here. We probably have it here. Max vertical speed. Uh, then um, sorry, I'm tired. Clearly. There we go, or equals. Uh, and then in addition, and and vertical axis. So you're pressing down, so it's I think plus so is bigger than equals one. Then we check if is not grounded. We actually have to pass that through to this, so I think. Isn't that how we're doing it right now? In like, let's see here, uh, update character. So we're smashing through things. It's grounded, okay. Is grounded is the function. Not grounded. It can't be grounded yet, so you have to do it before you're grounded. Then what we do is, Uh, they can, oh, I don't know. They could break walls in different ways though. Uh, okay. Q, I don't know what you're talking about, but uh, always the other ideas are cool, dude. But the idea is that you're falling and you're pressing down and... Looks weird only where few tiles are half normal size. It looks weird that only the few tiles are half normal size. It's not character, it's about who's the broom. It'd be funny if the one that with the broom can't break walls and you would need to hide behind them and to not become a tortilla. Hide behind them. It's weird that only a few thoughts that are on a half normal size. What are half normal size? You mean that the, the tiles are so big? Um, so then we would check here if um, instance place, no, we don't need to do that. What we can do is it's basically the same as if we are going to collide, which is, sure we can just check is grounded. And if that uh, returns, 
if is grounded in the next. See, cause, but I think you have a sunken roof on top of the building and the images that are in there. Uh, you're still talking about uh, the Celius thing. Isn't it is grounded? Oh, capital I. So if it's grounded in the next frame, or in this frame actually, so this needs to happen before you set grounded. Then, the is grounded is not returning the block, right? I think it is. I think it sets something where grounded object is. Smash! I think it's instance destroy. So now it should remove that instance. Let's see what happens. It might be that it actually won't work because what if you hit two objects? Oh, it's grounded and it needs... Um, it should only be actually not object collidable. It should actually be just root object. So any root object. He's trying to make the brick small. But I mean. Also, don't get too... Like some games are not realistic. So always comparing everything to realism is not... This is destroying. Remember. Is this destroy? Oh. So it's actually not a you don't pass it through, you actually do it this way. Um Yeah. And working too much because then you get stuck on realism. That's another thing. Like for example, my my blocks right now, like the metal block, is as high as the character. That would mean in the real world that it's like my height. That's not, um, not, you can't think about everything through realism because then you have to create Far Cry 3 or Crisis 3. You will never finish your game. The idea is that you have to think about what is, how does your world work and then just make it consistent. Error, ground on variable name expected. Oh, so you can't do this. So then it needs to be with ground object. Then here is instance destroy. Ah. Sup, Dreamblocks? Welcome back. I like to make them realism. The realism doesn't cost me 20 hours to make it perfect. Exactly. Yeah, of course, if it's it's doable so now let's see if I press down it's a bit hard because I don't know when it's gonna happen which we will work on that you would know that something like this is coming nope doesn't work oh it doesn't work because I'm not actually executing this code so in now in the update character before it checks uh, see, we would then add here the mechanic smash Let's see here. So, two, three, four. Nope. Now it's actually executing, but it's not really working still. One, two, three, four. Nope. So could it be, let's look at the code. Let's see if we just don't have any kind of requirements for it. That way I don't have to do anything. I can just sit here and read the chat. Arash, I'm still confused here, but I can't tell you that way you have it now is better than before. Making those tiles smaller or bigger won't make a difference. If you don't have them hidden behind the bottom wall, it'll look like an angled roof. Okay, so that part of the code is working. So of course, there needs to be like an effect. Uh, 
Um, then let's see what part of this is making it on. So let's see if it's the max speed. Let's see if it's the max speed that's making it not work. Okay, the max speed definitely it's not. So maybe I should do it the same thing as here. And uh, when we have the jumpy code, where is it? We're actually doing a slight like vertical speed plus a bit, so maybe that's what we need to do. Let's try that. What's up, Mateus? Welcome. We are uh, making smashing of bricks and it does still not work. Vertical speed. Plus a bit. It's bigger than. Or equals vertical speed. So let's see here. Jumping. Sup! What's going on? What's going on? It looks the same. Trying to make block smashing. Yep. Oh, there was a was going up. So let's see here. Let's not touch anything. Yep. Still not breaking it. And it is doing it if I don't have this here, right? Let's double check that again. Another way would be, we don't check that at all. But if you just check, he, he can't be grounded already. Uh, in the previous frame. And uh, vertical axis was just that, uh, the, actually the, 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 the thumb thing, thumby thing. Let's see here, that would be, Needs to be bigger or equals one. I just like to do bigger just in case, but it's basically gonna be equals one, or actually it can be bigger than 0 0.9. Let's see if that works. So now I'm pressing down. One, two, three, four. Okay, now I'm smashing through it. And then let's not do anything. Sup Nitro's Minecraft, you clearly, uh, you like Minecraft, so if we're going up, now I get stuck here, and that, then you don't smash through it. That circle, can we? Sup Shmelly, welcome to the stream Shmelly. We, I've been watching your stream, it's really good. What's up dude? Saw you streaming earlier. That circle cam. How dare he do a circle cam? Blasphemy! Cams are going to be uh... Make them smaller. What? Say what? I don't understand what's happening in that picture. Hey, Lost and Proto, there's a lot of people. Um, Lost, you're mod everywhere. Lost is not mod here. Uh, we need to make him mod now because he needs to be mod everywhere. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 
Oh, Epic Tavern is still uh, getting community spotlights. Cool. What's up, Schmelly? What are you you what did you work on today in your stream? But yeah, now you can uh, but then of course it will only for the first thing it hits with, which of course if you're then uh, hitting several things it uh, it should also delete all of those, but this is good enough for now. Um, we can later on worry about that, that it would do that. So many guys, welcome all. There's a lot of things happening. What music is this? Summer knocking, door into summer. Game chops, Rob KTA. I'm gonna make the blocks when they hit you. I think that was in the block code, right? So if you go to block, uh, if we go to the block itself, let's see here, attack, smash, jump, smash, smash, update block, so deal damage, instead of dealing damage, what if you just do um, with inst, Let's check here. Uh, we have the uh, with inst. Card fixes, knockback, not able to cast works, sleep works. And it's casting cards, just adding cards and card fixes. Haven't got into conf haven't got into confused card because it affects everything. Oh cool, you got a lot of stuff done. Oh. I'm still uh, struggling with streaming and no, I was kidding. I'm getting forward. Still trying to find kind of um, trying to figure out kind of what makes this game really fun. We've done a lot of code already, as you can see, but sometimes, you know, you have to iterate uh, a lot to find the fun. We're trying to make a falling game, so you're falling all the time, and you saw that backpack. So it's kind of like, you have to catch that backpack, and the person who gets it deployed uh, wins the game, and everybody else falls to their death. So, um... So it's a local party co-op game. I don't know if you smelly has been in the stream before. Ooh, have you? Have you? Uh -huh. But yes, this is the stream known for its circle cam. <laughs> so that's our that's the thing that makes the stream special. Everything else is uh, just uh, code. And I'm using Game Maker Contra Unity, as many people are using. Um, so just like in deal damage. Let's see here. Um, you have, we're not even checking in deal damage. That's interesting. That it's a character. Yeah, thanks for dropping by, guys. It's always awesome. Who is new here? Everybody. Arash is new. I've never seen this guy again. Who gave him mod? Oh, that was a loud vehicle outside. Let's see here, um, attacking... Yeah. Yeah, the deal damage didn't have a check for it to be a character, doesn't it? Oh, it is, because it's only object character, so... In the, um, actually here also we could do the same. Oops, update block. Um, if there's a lot of new people, I don't know. Uh, uh, then um, what we do here in our stream is like Mondays, we have Arash, who is also in the chat. He make, works on art and gives art feedback. If you're working on your game, you can submit your art to him. He'll give you feedback, help you work through it if you need like working th through some particular issue. On Tuesdays, we have a very special show which um, it's actually two of us, Arash and me. So we're doing like development talks. We're sitting on that couch right there um, called Two Devs on a Couch. And we talk about different developer, development stuff. We we're work talking about what happened in the game dev world and stuff like that. Uh, that takes about an hour or so. And we talk about whatever you want to, guys want to talk about. Then after that, actually, we review your games. 
So if you're working on a game, you can submit your game. It doesn't need to be finished. It can be a prototype. Um, and, you, um, and we give you critique and feedback. We don't review the game. We give critique and feedback, which means that we look at it, we look at, we play it, so you can, we, you can consider us testers. So we will first play the game, not say anything. You probably can pick up what works and what doesn't. Uh, and then um, after that, we'll give you feedback, like if there's something unclear, something we think you can work on. If there's some particular part that you want feedback on, you can submit that. And you can submit your game through gamedevcompany.com. There's a submit your game thing. <laughs> yeah, there is a guitar, but uh, I don't know. I can show you maybe someday. You would have to mic it up so you can hear it very well. With this thing, it won't come through. Bjorn guitar. Exactly. I can't. I can't play the guitar on the game dev community. That would be uh, cheating. I will get banned. Hmm. So, um, and then on Thursdays, which is today, huh? uh, the programmer, which is me, uh, will just develop the game, talk about coding stuff. If anybody has any code they're struggling through, I can try to help or someone in the community can help. And also, if you don't want to wait for feedback or stuff all till Monday, Tuesday or Thursday, you can also, you can also uh, submit, uh, come join our Discord. And uh, Arash can put our Discord in the chat. And uh, we're there almost 24-7. Only when we're sleeping or really busy, we're not there. But there's other community members also who can give you feedback. <laughs> exactly. Oh, music. Yeah, it is game development. But I have to make game music. I can only do like, like jumping sound. Oh yeah, so I don't actually have to check what kind of object because it's only colliding with object um, character. Oh, Proto Lambda is faster than a rush. So there's the link. If you want to join our Discord, you're welcome to. Uh, we have really active community members. They really try to figure out and help you. Um, we have really even senior stuff like from Epic Tavern. We have some people helping out people. So it's really cool. Mm. So, uh, what I was going to do is steer here with instance, we just do instead of deal damage, we would do the uh, kill character function. So now if you hit it, instead of taking damage, it kills the character. Let's see what happens when you play. There we go. Holy crap. <laughs> so now it kills the character when the block hits you. Oh, is, are those pieces ever going to go away? <laughs> that looks funny. <laughs> Sorry, this is getting too dark now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, the, de the dead zone of this, I need to really... This code, you mean level one, two? This is Game Maker language. You don't really have an option with Game Maker. So it's their own script language. Um. <laughs> Sorry, dark humor. Rip that guy. <laughs> yeah. He got ripped. Uh, actually, I should put back the rotation now. It's actually not working because we're not. And then we should also instead take it from the update character here and remove the rotation from here. Oh, well then. Yep, but it's game maker language. It's very simple. It's really, it's JavaScript-y. It's even less strict than Lava's JavaScript. Oh, the, these are still not rotating. Um, Let's see here. I kind of want the body parts to rotate. Not particles, it's body parts. Yeah, I think it's because actually in the body part thing, we don't have a. So, what we need to do. Oh, crap! There we go. Draw, draw. And then control, add code. 
And then we need to do the same thing we are doing for everything else that uses the rotation. Which we can just copy paste from the character, it's faster. Mm, there we go. Take all of that. Which would then uh, apply the sprite. Can you make the screen edges solid what lowers with the lowered speed bounds? Oh, so you can exit it go like boom, boom, boom. Yep, that's possible. See, there's no wrapping. Ah! Draw non existing sprite. Oh, that's interesting. Should work out of the box. Everything is possible. Everything. If you want solid uh, things, you can just go to, you just go to my system script, and you just set here that wrapping, horizontal wrapping to false, and now it doesn't wrap anymore. Now it's not wrapping anymore. Um, let's see here: rotation speed, speed right angle. It's close. I have too many scripts open. It's getting hard to know which script this one. Let's close up those. Oh, a lot of errors. So let's go here to the body part. Draw event. It's setting the sprite index, and the sprite angle should be set. Everything else is like default stuff. And in the step, update body part. And if we go to update body part, get block. Um, body parts update body part. You're setting sprite index to the sprite. And here's setting the rotation. Seems like community bot is bugging again. Draw a non-existing sprite. Very interesting. Hey man, I guess we can't do this then. Mm. Let's just remove this then. It's not an important feature. Sometimes you working something later on is better idea. You can get in the like a hole of you know, oh, I need to do this, fix that. So now it shouldn't be wrapping anymore. Actually it's not even blocking though, so Am I the only one getting buffering on the stream? Please let us know if it's a buffering. Uh, let me check here. I have zero drop frames, so if there's anything it's on Twitch's side. Let's hope not. Mm. So now it of course flies off the screen and you can fly off the screen, which we don't want. So we should also put here in translate that uh, here's putting wrap. So if you say that if uh, is false, so it's not doing that. We can actually put it here. If no age wrap, we can actually just set it so it blocks you off from the edges, which is a disco. Okay, cool, SMB. Yeah, it's mystical. Sometimes it uh, does that, sometimes it doesn't. There we go, now it doesn't fly off the edge. <laughs> I think this should work now, right? We can also check now the global, with no global Y wrap. Vertical wrap, not Y wrap. Then it can also block off, so you can't fall off for now. Might be changed in later on. 
could see now. Oh! How was that actually so early? Oh uh, yeah, that's what it is. We should put here... Let's not have this right now, because it's bugging with our how we're building the world. Because everything wor works with this translate, it's kind of moving stuff that shouldn't be moving. So now it should work. Boom. Oh, I can still get stuck there. So it should smash through everything. Mm. All right, what next? What next? Let's see here. Hmm, hmm, guys. Any ideas? What could we work on? We should make the game fun, though. That's the biggest problem right now, that there's not enough... Like, it doesn't mean add features. It's like, the movement right now in the world doesn't feel really good. And it's partly because of the animation, I think. That's something we, we might work on. That there should be a separate animation for when you're falling now. So, so you're like swan diving and you're like... Whoosh. It doesn't feel like you're falling because he's just in this ball <laughs> shape. Sup, Lawrence? Welcome back. I haven't seen you. What are you, how is it going, dude? Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. You haven't been dancing or anything now in a while. We should dance. Where is the dancing, Habibis? Habibis, where is the dancing, huh? All right, let's see here. We are excellent, Lawrence. We've been, oh, kill zero. I could see this being fun if there were obstacles coming from the sides, like hawks and dragons. Sup, driven by him? Cool, dude. Yeah, that's the idea that, you know, there should be stuff coming out. Maybe a floating pirate ship with fires cannons. Oh, the ninjas are just placeholders, by the way, so uh, the idea is looking at this... Uh, do I still have Arash's concept art? I probably have it in Discord. Let's see, Discord, where are you? I hope I closed Discord. There you go. So uh, looking at this, it's actually... it's a, The game's gonna be called Witch Witch. Uh, which is spelled like this. Like this and um, you're gonna be witches and the thing that's falling right now which is now a Paris shoot it's gonna be actually a broom and you everybody's like diving for the broom and uh, you have to dodge things at the same time so right now this is a stupid parachute so I thought, oh crap let's not get stuck there so once if the one that keeps uh, hold of the broom long enough will uh, then deploy it or like be able to fly on it. But we have to still see if that's the actual mechanic. <laughs> which which is a sandwich shop, exactly. Sandwich, which sandwich? But yeah, pirates can be, you can be a pirate. Like we have actually, if you go and restart the game, these are just placeholder characters. That red box colliders. Yeah, I have drawn out the box colliders. So you have a pirate right here, you have a ninja, you have a robot. I think those are the three characters I've made thus far. They're just placeholders I made for fun in Game Maker, just to have something. They're my white box characters. But that reminds me, let's remove that. Those uh, collision blocks. We don't need to draw them anymore. Hey, and welcome Zianger. This is uh, us making a sandwich shop game. 
So, let's see here. I have a mechanic. I can break the crate from above earning the contents. Power up coins. Yep. I still think that... Um, we will have definitely probably some kind of power-ups, but we don't want to add too much either also to keep the scope really small. It should be fun just, you know, fighting each other. So we still have a lot of stuff to do. So there definitely be stuff that's gonna come out from the sides and then you have to dodge them or you can walk on them like a airplane flying past and stuff like that. The only thing I haven't yet figured out is that will you be always falling? I think so, so I might actually redo some of the code. Because right now you're actually falling all the time, but in the end we don't really have to make it. Like right now we have real, like the the camera is actually moving down and we don't need that. So we could actually remove the vertical speed, the gravity. Let's see what happens now. And then just make the actual background move instead. Interesting that it doesn't move at all up and down there. What was the reason? Can't remember anymore. Oh yeah, because we're checking that you have to be falling. So the main mechanic is falling. Falling Simulator 2008. So now the question is, we probably will make it so that um, this has changed a lot of the game already. So we might actually do it where I'm kind of considering making it so that it actually doesn't move the screen at all. But it does make the world building more difficult. Or if it is moving, it could move much less. Oh crap, very sensitive. Oh yeah, because we actually removed the code. Like, let's see, our gravity. There we go. And then maybe, oh, we can still have that. Yeah, parallax scrolling. The only thing is that uh, it would be nice if you we could build the world in a certain way too, that we wouldn't have to. Now it's basically, now I just would have to scroll the background instead, which I probably could do just by like, let's see here, game maker. Background age speed. So this is horizontal speed, so we just need to put. So in system, let's see here, start match, we could just put. Uh, background zero, age speed could be like 20. What will be your next game? I don't know yet. We haven't created the prototypes. So this is just. Okay, this is not working. It's probably because I'm stretching the background, right? Let's look at the background. Backgrounds. Let's remove the stretching. The zero color. Let's see what happens now. Or this is horizontal speed. We don't want that. We want vertical speed. 3D multiplayer, <laughs> probably not. No. Where is this actually executed? Maybe we just go to test room. Let's see here. Uh, test area. Create creation code. Background vertical speed seems to be existing. So we put it to 20. There we go. Minus 20. So now actually you're not falling, you're just floating in the air. But it feels like you're falling. 
Now, let's see if it works still, even if I stretch the background. Just for now, see if we can kind of fake it for now. There you go. The clouds are very far away and that's why. Did actually the background still whiz by? Oh crap, there's a bug when you go inside of the... So now you can't... Uh, so now we could also put on the... Mm, so now it's an infinite falling game, you'll never reach. My third game will be a multiplayer 3D shooter. Good luck, dude. I'm trying to think of a tower defense concert. It's not going great. Oh, sup, Marticus. What's your problem? What, what kind of... Please explain more. What is your tower con defense concept? Maybe we can help you. Brainstorm something together. Let's see here. Smash, jump, slow motion. It looks like floating instead of falling because there's no parallax moving. Yeah, I know. We just changed it. You're like, oh, it's not finished. Why, guys, it's not finished? Melissa McKay, sup? Um, make a tower defense where you can are little monster trying to make it to the end by hiding behind other monsters. I'm trying to think, like, make a tower defense. So you're defending. Where one little monster is trying to make it to the end by hiding behind other monsters. That would be like reverse tower fall or something. Which is cool. My favorite Mirage likes plants versus zombies. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know Proto Lambda. I'm not going to make the clouds move. I'm, you know what? If it annoys you, we know what I'll do. I will delete the cloud so you nobody. Oh crap! Rename room test area. I will remove the cloud so you're not distracted by uh, unnecessary things. I think actually the clouds, because the clouds are not important right now. Let's just move them here. Now we have no clouds. Nothing uh, worrying about. Um, because it's not important. Those are all polished things. That's why I don't want to work on it. It's like, uh, why would I work on that when the game sucks? Um, I want to make it first more interesting. So, now we're making the falling. There was something I wanted to do. Yeah, keep it inside of the screen. Plus, the movement vertically is now really, really, really sensitive. I wonder if we do here that vertical speed is times equals 0 0.5 and it's about the same as in horizontal speed and then also we should look at um, let's look at the translate let's put here this on again so you can't go outside of the camera view which games do you recommend for tactical strategy game subspace predator uh, what kind of tactical strategy? Will it be 3D? Will it be 2D? Um, what, are, what other things? Um, tactical strategy game. And yeah, which platform are you aiming for? Is it mobile? Is it for like console or is it PC primarily? And you will probably answer, well, it's for everything. Okay, it's not for PC. Then there, there's more options. Is it gonna be 2D or 3D? Would be the next question. Oh, the clouds are still here. What? I thought I uh, moved you. Come on, the clouds. Get out of here. I didn't want you. Move. People will uh, talk about you if you're here. If you hide them in the bushes, then. 2D, okay. So it's going to be a 2D, um, what kind of maps will you have? So 
Godot would be a good engine, Game Maker is a good engine, and Unity probably would be my top three engines to look at. So now you can't go out of the screen here. But of course there's very little now kind of that you're falling, hinting, except here in the beginning. And we'll definitely do the parallax by the way, I just don't want to focus on that right now. Yeah, now the movement here is nice. So actually now we need to reverse gravity that, you know, I wonder if I still make it fall down, but it's gonna fall down very, very slowly. So I can kind of have best of both worlds. It's so like we enable this. And then again, do we need this? What if you just make the the camera slowly panning now? Hmm. Uh, Space Raider Tanks, I currently own uh, Unity's personal probably I'll give it a shot in it. Yep. And uh, all of these engines are free, by the way, that I mentioned. So don't feel like you have to buy anything. The only thing I wouldn't recommend, right, except if you have extensive uh, experience, is Unreal Engine. Oh. Run on top of his head. Here we go. The good thing about this is that we don't have a camera problem now. Because you're just... Except if we have something you can stand on. Well, there went the edge. So, is there a repeat function actually on this? We probably should turn that on. And we need to make the background totally a different version. Toy vertically. Yeah, Unity, Unity Personal Edition is the old Unity Pro Edition. So Unity Personal Edition is very, very powerful. <laughs> Dude, this, this looks weird. But anyway, it gives you the feeling of falling, even if it's like not correct. You're falling through several atmospheres. So now it's applying that to the, the background. Um, I'm trying to think that... So now basically the root object, it kind of should... Like, let's see here. Yeah, yeah, Simbi, you guys are too critical of guys. You're like, uh, you're uh, really focusing on the wrong things, huh? Can you make the players move slowly, but slowly like wind? Yeah, I could. I can do a lot of things, but I don't think that's important. That's the thing. When you're working on a game, it's so easy to get like, Oh, I want to adjust the wind physics. Uh, I'm going to spend... Uh, yeah, exactly. Skydiving battles. That's what I'm going to work on. That's a good idea, driving by him. That's what I want. Uh, updraft at some point, but the thing is, don't feature creep. Uh, that's the thing, a programmer sometimes will, oh, the music stopped. Especially programmers will have this tendency that, oh, I need to work on the physics of the game, let's make uh, realistically shaded pixels in the left corner, and I'm not saying you guys are saying that, but it's very important to keep, um, uh, keep narrow focus and really focus on just core, and right now I feel like Drafts and wind are not core mechanics. The game is not gonna become like, are you gonna play this game just because of drafts and wins? Will you buy? If I tell you, I promise you will have drafts and wind, will you buy this game? Of course it's a detail. Because are you gonna buy this game because it has wind in it? Exactly, like Garrett Polk says, first fun. And the same thing. Oh crap, that's a bug actually. Cool, I found it. Um, 
people won't buy your game if you ask yourself will people buy the game because of it it having or not having it and then uh, you know if it's not worth having Okay, I'll just add wins and after that, uh, driven by him, I'll set up a PayPal and then please pay me $5. I'm not saying that wins won't, by the way, be a part of it, but I'm just saying we're too early in the prototype that we shouldn't focus on them. And it's a thing that's really, really important. I'm not, this is exactly what I would have done maybe five, six years ago. I would be like, oh, I need to put the wind in here. Like even the, this is a white box. Why I, by the background actually doesn't work is because I just broke it on purpose. Uh, if I want to fix, I can just go two minutes late back in the code. Uh, anyway, guys. Um, so, now at least because we're doing this, oh, now the camera moves, which we don't really need anymore. Do we? Hmm. But then it wouldn't have, there can't be a roof. So no, the camera can't move anymore. So actually what we can do is um, we can go here into the room test area, object, uh, view, and we can just remove the follow no object. That way it shouldn't move the object anymore. I do agree with focus on core, but you simplify wind mechanics and call it D there before trying it. Of course. Oh. Oh crap, that's a more bigger error. Of course, because I don't know why that would be fun right now because you have no interaction between the players. Exactly, and I love those ideas by the way. I will add wind here. There will be drafts. I'll be add a, uh, a visual of a wind draft coming in from the side. I'll add planes that you can smash through and stuff like that. Right now I'm really focused and trying to figure out what kind of... Um, now I think I can't go. No, nope. good. I'm trying to think about core, really, really core. Exactly, lens flares, give us lens flares. Uh. Oh, I don't know if you're, uh, s no, I'm not saying wind visuals. I meant it's, now you're missing him. And anyway, winds are fine. Um. Yeah, the more stuff you add, the more it, you know, hard to see the core. Actually, I had a, a fire elemental at some point. <laughs> but this is not Bloom. I'm actually, you guys are giving uh, him the wrong feedback because he's not meaning that would add visual blooms or lens flares. Um, I, he, I do understand what he's meaning is like there's uh, updrafts and downdrafts. Um, but I think first what I need is I need things falling. I need to implement that first. So you have to dodge things while falling down. Uh, the next thing I probably have to implement is that you can collide with each other and not, I, basically I can remove the is grounded for now. I don't really need a grounding script, uh, at least as, as per now. Let's remove that. There is no grounding. Yeah, actually I have screen shake already implemented. I removed it because it was distracting. Um, so yeah, I do really like the idea of wins. I just think that I just prioritize my head and put it on, on the later features added later. Um, oh, that's bad. Let's actually round it should just be false and by the way welcome um definitely i'm also welcoming ideas i'm sorry if i come off came off a bit strong that's very interesting that it's if i put the ground that it suddenly allows you to go inside of objects that's not what i meant this has nothing to do with grounding Very interesting. Very interesting. 
Ooh, maybe. Maybe I'll leave the grounded for now. We can figure out that later. It's a minor detail bug that I can fix later. And please tell us what you're working on too, guys. So, let's see here. So now next, what I need to figure out is, I had these objects, if you look at the level. Um, that were by down here, but because the screen is not moving anymore. I actually don't need this tall of a level. What are those? Oh, I added clouds. Yeah, those can be deleted too now. And all of these, maybe. I don't need these clouds right now. It's just unnecessary to have them here. Oh, I hope I didn't read the wrong thing. I'm curious if the channel has any mods other than Bjorn and Rash. I don't remember I've ever seeing any other than bots. Nope, uh, I think uh, we don't have any other mods. Starlight Skies is a mod. She's been helping us out a lot. But no, no, no official mods that just moderate the channel. Because we're two people, so we moderate each other. And when we'll grow, we'll definitely hire more mods and help moderate the chat and stuff like that. Oh, Baynor is me. It's my personal account. So yeah, we do have my own account. I think I can just, oh, don't add weird shit in here. There we go. Mm. So I wonder if I should just add like the static object. So it's like the reverse, so. So all these static objects, what if I made them have a upward motion? It's like the reverse of gravity. So this is update block. Uh, let's see here. Uh, vertical speed, max vertical speed. We'll have stuff that goes up and then stuff that goes down. We kind of need both ways. Uh, are you guys checking out the India Revolution Expo this Friday Sunday? It's all online and all free. Oh, yeah, you guys should go and check it out. If it, Check it out online and if you can go there on uh, physically, you should go. Um, of course, it's probably has tickets. Is it going to be sold out already? But if it's free, you should definitely go check it. You can just learn so much more just checking all kinds of people and not just one. You learn a lot of stuff. Also useful to join from for when the stream is offline. Yeah, Discord. Uh, we have Discord, so um, you can join. We'll we'll be there. We're like there almost all the time except when we sleep. So you can. Uh... Oh, it's only online. Oh, very interesting. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um. Midwest, what kind of games do you enjoy playing on your personal map? I like to play a lot of different things when I play. Um, I'm not very particular on my games. Um, Let's see here. Compile a list in like seconds. I've played Rust. I've played uh, a lot of Rust, a lot of Minecraft, a lot of... Uh, I do like playing a lot of indie games, but usually I play them for like a couple of days and then I stop. I do try to uh, try almost everything that kind of gets into the top charts, I try to try out and play. Uh, it's like your Tuesday stream, but three days worth, exactly. But our Tuesday stream is already half day, so you have 60 hours. <laughs> no, that's cool. I'll definitely check it out. Let's look at the website. What else do I play? There's... I like to play old school games. I have an emulator uh, to play old school, kind of arcade games, stuff like that. Oh, very interesting. I have to check it out during this weekend. Is it going to be offline? 
Like, can you watch it video on demand too? Um, so is fallable. So now the thing is we need to have stuff that falls and stuff that floats. <laughs> so basically it's like the balloon thing that something floats and it goes up. They're also sitting on couches. Oh my God, they're stealing our ideas. They can't uh, sit on couches. Uh, actually, now that I work this way and you're moving, we actually have to have this type of collision on. But uh, yeah, I wonder what we should make. So stuff needs to float from below to up. So basically, it's not falling, it needs to be floating. And the falling needs to be like at half speed, not full speed of gravity. It's trademarked! Couch sitting is trademarked by us. So we have on Tuesdays a, a show called Two Devs on a Couch. And that's where uh, what we do is uh, we just sit on a couch with Orash and then we talk and we play your guys' games, give you feedback, and then we talk about design and all kinds of shit, stuff. Stuff. So um, let's see here. Um, I really want coffee. I'm running out of coffee. Do I still have any coffee? I need more energy. Come on. More energies. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should spend some time actually reworking the characters too. So they would have like a diming because I kind of, I'm kind of pivoting the game suddenly here. But let's look at it. So this is the update block. So if falling, so it's actually in the fall script. So if it's falling, holy crap, there's a lot of code here. Step timer. Oh, there is a lot of stuff. I think I don't need this code right now. Let's remove all of that. So it actually applies this gravity. And instead of gravity, what we could do is, if it's falling, we can just do, put vertical speed I don't even need the script right now. There's a lot of stuff here now that I kind of want to refactor. I don't need this. I want to do it in a different way. This is fine for now. Max vertical speed will be 10. So actually, that's a way of doing it. So let's do it go back. Actually, so if we go back to falling, let's actually put everything back. Let's actually do max vertical speed. So let's go here to the init block and we put the max vertical speed to half of that. And then what we do also in addition, we need to go in because these are overriding it. So we need to here also put 15 metal block object metal block it was that one this one I already changed right so this is 15 and then um, I think I will read it for some other thing here maybe variable maybe have a variable to teach for object like air resist and then puts another handle on its falling speed or something yeah you can do that So now what we need to do is just, if it's, this is a bit stupid, but um, I'm trying to think, this is a bit messy, this code. I'm, the thing is, I don't want to delete everything either. It's kind of in a refactoring phase. It's kind of, you don't want to delete, but you don't want to keep it either because it's messy. So, Oh, 
if it's not falling, then we just put a vertical speed to minus 10. Let's see what happens. So now it should, yep. Yeah. Oh, it cannot exit. Uh, in the translate, we have this code that it can't exit. Let's just remove it for now. We will allow exit for now. This should only apply to the character, so we'll move it out of the translation code. It's not really for the translation to handle. Let's see here. So now it takes a longer while before it comes. Will it come ever? There we go. Of course, now we're not colliding with it. So now we can have stuff going up. So then, actually, are we applying that? Oh, did we delete those these model block events? So let's look at the test area. Nope, we still have them. Mm, so let's look at the code block for that. If it's fallable, is event block is vertical speed max speed then kills. So if it's event, but if it's above the camera, then visible true is it falling to true. Did we see them? There we go. We have a crash on us, yep. Yeah, there's too many changes at once. We did like a 180 in like two seconds. Actually, this Really interesting that it's not those come up, but I don't know if them. What if I do visible through always? So it's like always visible. Why are they not showing? There they go. It doesn't apply suddenly. Show debug message. Test. For everyone now, please join Discord, yeah? If you want, join Discord. See what's up there. We help people. We have like a... a it's getting quite big. Uh, our uh, Discord community. So it did run this. It says falling to true. Did we disable everything in gravity script? Yeah, we did. Hmm. I wonder if we now we have a gravity said enable gravity again. So we have vertical speed and of course now what we want to do is we don't want this actually to be in the oh I know no because it won't of course fall what if we just go to the character and move the character won't have gravity for now mm -hmm. 
actually sorry it's not here beginning update let's remove gravity so other things oh thanks for the follow melissa mckay welcome to the game dev community uh oh whoa crap of course now there's no limit on the Thanks, Melissa, and welcome. Uh, yeah, we uh, stream Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. And uh, please share, Melissa, if you have any game you're working on. We give uh, feedback and critique on Tuesdays, so we can check it out. Just go to gamedevcompany.com, and you have submit your game, and uh, you can give we can give you feedback. And definitely, uh, but definitely, I will have, by the way, as a final thing, I will create air resistance. For your honor, we will have air resistance. It's just uh, on its way. I Just before you joined the stream, I basically redid the whole game. So there's a lot of bugs I'm trying to figure out that are just basic game mechanics. So that's why I'm right now not developing a lot of stuff. So yeah, now it's, so those are going and then they're falling. <laughs> they're falling very slowly. <laughs> Cool, dude, or gal, please submit it. Um, really, really love to see you guys' games and, and play them and have fun. And they don't need to be finished, so just the prototype is fine. Just like mine is a buggy crap, that's fine. We won't judge. It's not, if we would judge, we would know better than, uh, you know, anybody else. You know, we're, if we sent this in, we would be like, oh, the, it's crap. No, I'm kidding. We won't say that. Uh, we, we could give you feedback. Just like you guys are like, hey, what if there was air resistance and stuff like that. Uh, let's see here. So this is now falling, but it's falling very slowly. <laughs> Sup, Celia? Welcome back. I'm doing a bad, uh, bad uh, job of explaining what we do. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what time is it? 23. Ah. Uh. It's 11 o'clock in the night, so I'm getting tired. I need to uh, wake myself up. Squeeze harder. Let's see here. Update character. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Bjorn. Come on, wake up. Mm, I should do some art or something. Art is uh, easy when you're tired or not. You're, it's not actually. <laughs> um, let's see here. Let me think. So now that's falling, so we can actually remove that part in the book script. No, where is it? In it block? Get the coffees! Yep, Jupiter. Exactly. I ran out of coffee. There's no coffee left. There's a slight. I think there's just a bit. The last coffee. Hmm. Last coffee, running on the last. Ah, oh, Celio, you've been working hard. You've been, you've been showing what you've been working on. You've been really working hard, so you deserve a pause. I think we make this back to 30. Let's see here. And this was the thing that was. Twenty-four hour no coffee challenge. How dare you encode TV, encode, you cannot, no, no, no. Finland, which is where I'm from, is the number one coffee consumer in the world. You cannot, uh, the whole country will stop. You have no coffee. So, uh, what I was gonna do is just remove this visible. So what I need though is a max, so we have gravity, but I should have the max thing separately. Right now, it's very sensitive. Hold on. What? I forgot in this booth here. No. Greece is not consuming any coffee. They have no money to consume coffee. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, yeah, Finland is the number one. There we go. Why are you falling so slowly? 
Then, did we do something in here? It's very weird that they're falling so slow. Let's remove all this, this stuff. If falling, then gravity. Ah, uh, 16th, ah, uh, 16th, still no, it's nothing. We are number one, number one, oh, baby. <laughs> Well, crap. There they come. Beep, 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 beep. Why are they falling so slowly? The hell? Did I add something in gravity? Oh, this looks. Oh, yeah, it does here. How do you make an achievement, man? It sounded like this. Oh, complex question. <laughs> what are you working? What engine? Are you in Game Maker? Generally speaking, uh, you would have an uh, array with all the achievements and each array object would have the... You would have to actually... Well, it's difficult because you would have to create the conditions of when. So you should create some kind of class or some kind of structure that handles um, the condition so it can run different conditions. And then it should also have stuff like save, like has the player gotten that fulfilled the condition? You can save it. Um, so it's very complex actually. Welcome back Space Predator. We are looking at achievements. But yeah, that's a very, very complex question. Actually achievements are not that easy to do because usually each achievement have a different condition that, you know, needs to be. And hey, thanks for the follow Jupiter. Welcome to the game dev community. Um, so, are you Jupiter developing on something? Please fill us in if you're working on something. If you're not, if you're learning, that's fine too. So now at least the... There we go. Oh, now it's falling fast. That was what I was expecting. So I thought that now it should be like 15, which is... We are not moving now. Maybe it should be more like... And yeah. I think this one had the same thing. But I need to figure something out that is in it block. Mm, I don't work on a strategy game on Unreal Engine 4, but it's pretty hard. Yeah, that... that I'm a C-sharp uh, in the making. Cool. Are you using Jupyter? Are you using Unity? That uses C-sharp, so it's a good place if you want to make games and learn C-sharp at the same time. First language and, and time I've ever started to program. Cool. Yeah. You'll have to start sometime. If you never start, you'll never learn it. Still making the story. Uh -huh. Well, uh, Space Predator, do you think about is Unreal Engine the right thing? You, I think you mentioned you want to make it 2D though. Zippy Zack, I would use Unity, yeah. So now let's see at the objects falling. They should be a bit slower. There we go. And it killed one of the characters just like before. Now I need to make that movement speed a bit slower. Let's just make something custom for the character for now. Uh, let's go to the character. Character thing, so which is here. So begin, I think here we're taking it and here we're already translating it. So we need to be here in between. So we do uh, vertical speed is times equals 0 0.5. And then uh, we need to do vert if vertical speed is bigger than or equals to max vertical speed, I think it was called, then we set vertical speed to equals max vertical speed. Yeah, 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 I remember, yeah, that's why I was saying. 
now it's all right there we go starting to work like the previous version except <laughs> oh we need to remove the gravity from the the backpack it will, it will fall away Character. So where do we have those? Is it actually hard coded into the objects? Let's see what they have. So in the step, yeah, it is. So let's remove gravity from you. Holy crap! There's a lot of code already. In there. But Game Maker is not bad. But I don't know. I, for some reason, I wouldn't make maybe a strategy game in it. Okay, now it's here. There we go. So now we can still design the level, just like before. We actually have less problems. Except that one. So now, what's happening is that we're not actually colliding with the... That's very interesting that it's not colliding. I thought in collision, actually. You're going through the object. Even though I used to learn, even though I used to a book to learn C++ for you, I think I should try C sharp. Yeah, C sharp. Like, if you know one programming language really well, uh, after a time, it doesn't really matter what programming language you use, um, especially in the beginning. You will learn then the kind of in-depth special quirks. So, um, I would definitely say that, uh, uh, don't limit self your, to yourself to one language. During a lifetime of a programmer, it's very rare these days that you get to do one language the rest of your life. So if you're very like blind, like this, and you only know one language, you'll have a hard time finding jobs. So these days people want flexible, versatile coders, not in depth. Like you need to, like there's new principles. Like for example, when TDD, test driven development first came out about, uh, there was a lot of people who were kind of resisting that change. And then actually that led to a lot of amazing programmers, like uh, bit that people who had never done that before to get fired just because they couldn't work in a team, so. Sup purple, purple six? Thanks dude. Um, we try to help everybody and give them advice. And of course, like I always say, we're not gods. We don't know the exact answer, the perfect answer, but we always answer to our best of our abilities. So thank you, dude. And welcome uh, to our uh, to our stream. Um, but yeah, we definitely try to kind of help you guys and help, help kind of, uh, I think it's very important in this day and age to have a very free and open mind. Think outside the box. Don't get stuck in a box. The instant you get stuck in a box is when you get rigid. You know when you're no, you probably are a bit younger than most people. So you know when your parents are like, no, you, you kids these days, you play your Pokemon Go. When I was a kid, I was um, mowing the lawn and doing real sports. Um, <laughs> that's the thing that's, you know, people being rigid it's not thinking out going with the times thinking outside of the box being flexible being open to other people's suggestions and really listening to what they're saying so um, I think that's very important um, so um, yeah I, I really hope that that helps you guys uh, to kind of open your minds because also that's that's where that you need to open your mind these day and age everything moves so fast everything that was really good two years ago is not that good today like everything moves if you use unity 4 it's not good unity 5 is good it has added stuff in 10 years unity won't maybe even exist who knows we don't know where we are so if you get too kind of very very stuck on one thing it, it really gets you really you really can uh screw yourself over in a way. You just become a grumpy old man being like, oh, nothing works as I want it to. 
If any of you want to see, so maybe by saying, if you want to see how relatively complex 3D art is made, I recommend checking out the open source project 080. Yeah, that sounds cool. I need to check that out. I haven't seen that. Uh, I remember being in love with 080 uh, a while ago. I'm in love with Manifold Garden right now. <laughs> But yeah, and everybody can learn to code and everybody can learn art, but nobody can learn to code, nobody can learn to art if they don't put in time and effort and practice. So, like I said, I started Pixel Art three, four weeks ago. Okay, my art looks better than most people who starts out. Why? Because I've been practicing drawing since I was 15. 14. I actually drew a lot when I was a kid. I really loved drawing, even if I'm a programmer. Um, so I can then translate those skills to the pixel art, but pixel art is still a still totally different world than drawing on paper. So I still have to relearn skills. I just have a certain mental like way of seeing things that helps me a bit. Um, and that's that's the thing with uh, everything. Um, if you know C plus plus like the back of your hand, going to C sharp is going to be really easy. And yes, you will have to learn new things. You, many, memory management, memory handling, all, all kinds of things works differently. But doesn't mean necessarily, and there's more auto, it's more automatic, which also means that you have less flexibility to optimize. Excuse me. But when, uh, um, but when the project to get finished doesn't require it, then it's okay. I think it's kind of old school kind of thought that um, this day's world is driven by business. Even in indie, uh, if you want to be an indie developer for very long, you need to start thinking about at, le at least this much about how much to earn, how to earn money. Indies can still take a bigger risk than non-indies, um, but um, still in the end, it's about getting that game out, getting it finished, and not spending unnecessary time. <laughs> thanks dude thanks <laughs> so don't spend unnecessary time on things you don't have to it's like let's say like this it's okay to use for example the mat nav mesh of unity if that's pre-built if you know that's the only thing you need I don't mean by that that you shouldn't go and learn a star for example for pathfinding you still should have a basic concept that doesn't mean that you have to write your own navigation system if the Unity's one works really well. Um, and you also, determining when to learn what is very important. Um, so, if you guys are working on stuff, want to get started to help you, please feel free to join Discord. We have an awesome community there to help you. Exactly. Um, join us on Discord when we're not streaming. We're on streaming right now three times a week. And uh, we try to work on our own stuff, but it's not the most important thing. I think the important thing is to share ideas, share thoughts, help you guys, and sometimes, and you guys help us. And um, in Discord, we're like, when we're not streaming and when we're not, um, when we're not sleeping or in a meeting or something like that, we hang out there all the time with uh, Arash. <laughs> I feel like he talked directly at me. Oh, uh, says Holger God. Well, I'm talking to you all, you guys. This is just this common mentality. I've been, like, I might look youngish, but I've been a developer for, like, my dad's a programmer, by the way. Uh, so I'm a second generation developer, and there's more and more out there, but there's quite few that are 30 or something, and I have a dad who also, he started programming in the 60s or something, 50s, with, like, punch card holes and stuff like that. And I think, I think there's a lot of this kind of stigma or this kind of, especially when you go to school, you go to computer science and you learn that the teachers, those like, they kind of, be, they've been taught in a past era. They're not up to date necessarily. And they, I'm not saying they're teaching bad things. They're teaching really good things. And you should know some basic stuff, but sometimes how you approach it in the beginning is not necessarily the best way. Like, 
to go very theoretical in the beginning. But um, yeah, I mean, and then the people who really want to focus on programming and want to become, I want to become an expert algorithm, algorithm developer, or I want to be the best pathfinding guy, or I want to optimize the 3D pipeline. You should learn that and you should do that, absolutely. But, and you shouldn't give up your dream of making games, but most probably your best chance in the world to get a job and paying your rent is not going indie or making your own games, it's actually going work for gaming engines and go work for them. Um, create plugins for, um, um, uh, create plugins for the engines and then, uh, cool. Yeah, my dad programmed COBOL in 60. My dad pro programs COBOL too. <laughs> he still programs COBOL. <laughs> so. Cool, Space Predator. And let us know in the, if you join Discord, let us know if there's anything we can improve there. We try to all, all the time. We're growing really fast, so we know that the next thing we need is more moderators and people to help. The Namish, for some re reason, bugged out. Yeah, and sometimes, well, there's two ways. When you're working built-in, the thing is when it bugs, it might be hard to debug, and then you try to debug, read the forums, and fix that. If um, if you're you're not doing it, if you're not doing anything special, it should work. If it's a crap code, then write your own, and that's fine. Yeah, he just retired a couple years ago, but he's still using COBOL until he's retired. Well, my dad is retired seven, eight years now. He's 72. Um, and he's still programming. He's an entrepreneur, so he has his own company. So even if he's retired, he's not really retired. <laughs> he's just collecting the retirement, like pension. And then earning money on the side. But yeah. COBOL, that looks scary. I don't like that. <laughs> That's probably no programming language I would have trouble learning at this point. Everything else these days is so similar. Everything is based on the same principle. I've been staring at this line of code. What was I even doing? Oh yeah, the, the, it wasn't colliding. It was clipping through that. It's kind of interesting. So I think I could I have this rounded right on the character. Right? Not here, I mean, in the character. Yeah, I am. You can just... Sometimes you want to hack something together, like really fast, just make it work. That's why game gems are awesome. They teach you to do that, and then you just... Uh... One does not retire from a passion! Exactly, yeah, do I like how you said that? Well... I interpreted it a bit, but <laughs> one does not retire from passion. One and one. I don't know. What to say. That was awesome. Uh, yeah, and the other is also. Um, I think you're. What I've seen, you're really experienced in program too. So if you have anything to add to what I'm saying, please do. Um, there's definitely different point of views and stuff like that to what I'm saying. So go listen to other people too. Don't listen to this joker saying. Saying anything. Um, so vertical, what if I do vertical speed is equals ground, I think it sets a ground object. Phew, I sat down at my desk five hours ago, work on my RTS game. Now finally I finished the coding for my village to go chop down trees, collect wood and bring it back to the main storehouse. Yes, awesome dude. Yeah, I really love the feeling when you get something working, something especially difficult. Let's see if this crashes now, as it probably does. Come on! Yeah, still clipping through. It's like it's not a... I didn't change anything, right? Still a climbable.
Hmm, very interesting. Uh, I've been promised since I was five, I believe. I'm 31 now. Well, I'm 31 too. We're the same age, Lieto. <laughs> so, um, so he's somewhat experienced now. Exactly. I have little to add to what you said. Yeah. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy when I hear that because I don't have an illusion that I know everything. That's something you learn by age. But I do hope that I learn something and I can help younger programmers uh, or to kind of to change their mindset and then become really good programmers uh, who work really well in a team. Actually, that's, I would say, one of the most, most important things as a programmer is to learn how to work in a team. If you have good social skills working in a team and you can like, someone comes with what you need to do, you grasp it really fast and you execute over expectations to that person, no matter it's being a designer or whoever, artist or your boss or your team colleague, uh, you, you're never gonna be wanting for a job. Yeah, and go follow Lietu. Uh, he's making a boxing game where I, you, he's using microcontrollers. He's gonna use, he's still, I think they're still in shipping. They got a bit delayed. So it's a mobile thing where you can then virtually box with people. He probably has better elevator pitch for his game than me. Uh, Lietu, I'm hesitating to follow you. Entertain me, tease me, you're streaming. <laughs> exactly. The other says, pass. He is too cool to pedal to the peasants. And that's exactly what you need to be. You need to be too cool for school. No, wait, that's not the right message. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like we do dances, but I don't do dances because I want follows or anything. I do dances because I think it's fun. Because I think it's, I like just the kind of weird Oh, thanks for the follow, Purpley6. Welcome to the game dev community. I'm not doing it for follows. Contrary to popular belief. Uh, I'm not that much of a dancer and don't like dancing that much, but I think it's kind of weird and funny. Like, I'm always trying to think, what would I want to watch? And I just... <laughs> when I see something weird going on in stream, it's always, you know, it also helps me as a streamer because sometimes you get really stuck in this code and you get blindsided and then I'm staring at this code for six hours and everybody else is like, oh, this guy. Uh, I think the only way people become really good programmers is just practice. Yeah, teamwork's very important. Yeah, practice. How do you become a good artist? Practice. How do you become a good programmer? Practice. How do you become a good de designer? Practice. And that's something that most people don't understand. Anybody can have an idea. A designer will not come with an idea. They will come with a concept. And then when there's problems, they'll come with a solution that fixes, keeps within that concept and makes that concept stronger. It's not just solving the problem. So um, I would say that uh, uh, it's very invisible. And the programmers can be designers, artists can be designers, but you still need practice, practice, practice. It's not something you can just pick up. You have to practice. And uh, same thing with everything else. You have to say, for everyone interesting, the short story roughly as follows. Boxing gloves with presser sensors and Bluetooth enabled microcontrollers as input for some sort of game. The direction is still a bit unclear. And the most important bit for me was the input. Exactly. I think that's how I did. I started this game. I didn't go like, oh, I'm gonna make a witch game and it's gonna be like this. It's gonna be about falling. And uh, I think uh, uh, I just uh, basically tested different mechanics, see what I felt like was fun. Because I can do that as a programmer. It is definitely better if you have a concept ready. But sometimes it's hard to prove that concept if you're really trying to find something. You know, Interesting. Uh, people will stay, say it takes 10k hours to get good in anything, and I think 10k hours is just where it starts. <laughs> yep, that's when you know the basics. Then to get good takes a lot of time. Space Predator, yeah, I followed YesCU when you were live. Yeah, cool. Still working in Game Maker? Yep, I'm still a payam. I'm still working in Game Maker. 
and I will this project will make in Game Maker. At some point, I might move to Unity if the project requires it. That's what's uh, special about me. Me, I can make work in Game Maker. I can work in Unreal Engine. I can work in Unity. I'm not. Uh, I'm not stuck on another thing. You use the right tool for the right uh, project. But right now, this is just a weird project, so... Oh, so now... It's very weird that it's going through. Don't go on it, Why are you going through it, though? Many talents. Why was it going through, I wonder? So I'm still colliding with this. It's like the vertical collision is turned off. Suddenly. I must have effed up something. Because it's not just this, so maybe this is kind of... Uh, premature. I think there's another problem. And I, I don't think it's... So let's see here. Let's go also here and let's remove this. One thing I really like a lot is working in Golang. Yeah, Go is really nice. So I hope that in the near future people make more Make a decent bindings to some nice game engine for Golang. Or build some nice game engines in Golang. If you feel if you feel it would be a very good fit. If, I feel it would be a very good fit, but I'm too lazy to fool around with OpenGL or deal with integrating to see myself. Yeah, I really like Golang. It's actually really good performance and it has very interesting concepts. And uh, yeah, I've actually used it at work some. We're doing some stuff at work with Golang, so I, I really like it too. I'm kind of seeing it, hopefully taking over Node.js space a bit, also, for game uh, web development. Uh, game I'm gonna check on Discord who can teach me some Blender for 3D mod because I can make a game 3D, it will be awesomer. Yeah, if you have the time to spend, do know that it's not a small task to learn 3D, but definitely check. And you should also check Unicorn Dev and Starlight Skies, they're two streamers, uh, they work both in... Uh, I think they both work in Blender, if I'm not wrong. This is Starlight Dev, Unicorn Dev. She works in ZBrush, I think. Right now, at least, I've seen her. But you can still ask them about 3D stuff. <laughs> yeah, SDL is painful. Yeah, Golang, definitely. I think it's it's up and coming. Let's see. Let's hope people, more people start using it. And that's what it depends on. If nobody uses it, then it's not going to start working. Like, then it's not gonna, doesn't matter how awesome it is. Yeah, it's like no, only, I only get um, horizontal collision. Suddenly, suddenly, all my vertical collision stopped working. Let's see here. Nope, still. When did I change that would have done that? I didn't change anything in gravity, did I? Not really. It still applies it. Actually, the jumping is not applied too late, I think. Jumping is a script that changes the vertical speed. So we might actually want to go and um, move that up a bit. So when we go to... Um, maybe the jumping should actually happen here. No way. It shouldn't really affect that. We had it working before. 
Yeah, Starlight's definitely Glender, but Unicorn Dev, I don't know, actually. Something is wrong. Oh, and then we have that tss 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 going on there. Oh, we can remove that. It's not in here, it's not in here. Where did we put it? There, test. Just this test. Um, it's like it stopped working when I applied gravity, which is kind of interesting. It shouldn't really stop working. Stop working because of that. But yeah. We got some further. We didn't really add any features again. We've just been working on changing things. Yeah, and Elmer Fadi has also worked in Blender, so you can uh, ask him too. But the best way to get started, probably still before asking too many people, is go check the basic tutorials. It is boring, I know, I put my hands up, but it's just something you have to do. Um, they still explain so much. But you can always take a part of the tutorial, then start already using the, no the things you learned, and then work from there. Now, why is it? It's like no clipping through it. I have to check that out. I wonder what it could be. What could it be? <laughs> hmm. Let's see here. And Kelman Scotty. There's a lot of people. Just ask in the art, this art help channel. Just go there and ask. You might get more than you ask for if you ask too general. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder why it stopped working. It's not this, right? Wait a minute. One thing I need to check. I might have an idea what it might have been. There we go. Actually, sorry. Yeah? I think it's that. But... Nope, still going through. That is weird. And it also crashes. I highly recommend Blender Guru for tutorials, also Blender Cookie. Oh, cool. That's good to know. Are they free, Elmer Fadid? Yeah, this is still not working. Still can go through things. What does actually collision do? They're free, yes, there's also some premium paid tutorials there, but they're primarily free. Okay, good. 
I will uh, put that in the back of my mind for next time someone asks. So, let's see here. Can't figure this out. It's not a smash. It's something added. I don't know if I need to remove this. We did change this though. A pay a me or Bjorn. Uh, what? I'm the. Da, 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 da. Then there are also websites that are usually learning. Oh, what is your full-time job game or you're working on? So full-time, we're actually right now working on uh, actually get, not game development right now. Arash has worked in the industry for a long time, but we're actually working right now in an e-learning music education um, company. Let's see here. So this is our indie indie. We have to still have a day job to uh, feed uh, ourselves. Okay, cool, Space Predator. Welcome back when uh, you have time. Yeah, this is very weird. I didn't literally didn't change anything there, so it's something that's set it off. But yeah, um, but we did uh, also work in, uh, we uh, both done our masters in game design and production in, in uh, school. So. Think musician, no, not musician, sadly enough. Musician is though cool though. Uh, Sage Siegfried, uh, because this is sets it to a max velocity, so it can never go over the max vertical speed. This, what it does is that it uh, kind of makes it, um, like if I remove this, it'll be a linear full linear acceleration. This makes it, uh, makes, makes it, like look here, it's linear. This is linear acceleration. It goes really fast, really. This is linear. So it act, and this makes it non-linear. And you can cha change by, depending on that value, it changes how linear. So now, for example, because it's non-linear, it works like this. So it's not capping anything. It can still accelerate to almost any speed. So this makes it, yes, smaller, but it also makes it... But it, it could also be that it's already capping it depending on how big you do it. Like 0 0.5 is so big, it could be... No, it should still accelerate to like... You see here, it'll be. Oh, it is not bad. We could have it like this too, but if you let it go for too long, it might still go over top. But it's just to make sure that there's no, you can't go over a certain threshold. Mm. Jonah, oh yeah, not anymore. Most of their intro videos are free, but the rest of the course is behind a paywall. And they recently had increased their sub amount because people were downloading their videos too much. Oh, that's sad to hear. There's so much free tutorials out there. There's of course pity if they're not free anymore. Uh, I, pay a I teach game design and game art. Yeah, and Arash also teaches uh, in, uh, I guess it's upper high school. 
Yeah, I totally missed all that last I knew there were most professional tutorials on. Yeah. Well, man, you blunder, Guru. A master's degree usually is uh, two, two years. You have to have a master, uh, bachelor's though, pre-existing or higher. But yeah. Uh... So usually master's would be five if it would be also including the bachelor's. I've been going for four hours and you can see it already. It's like 12 o'clock, it's midnight right now. It's very interesting that this stopped working though. I wonder if it's like colliding but not colliding. Like is something moving it? Like I don't think anything here would make it move through objects. Yeah, in total it would be five with the bachelors. Usually, a bachelors is three years. Going through stuff. I kind of want to apply gravity now and see what happens. Like, let's see. What if we do this? Mm, let's take the blocks. But yeah, we definitely want to get. It would be awesome to work on a game full time. That's what we. Maybe someday we'll. Depends on how things go. Um, you never know. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I said. You have to have a bachelor's to get the master's. No. You can't apply for a ma master's program without a bachelor's. So what if we add the gravity again? Well, we can... It's kind of doing this already in the gravity, but eh, we can leave it. It doesn't really break anything. I'm just hoping that my current star makes me a millionaire so I don't have to think about having a day job. <laughs> uh, I'm not hoping for any millions anywhere. I just hope I could get do game development full time would be awesome. It's a very interesting field to work in. Which I can't right now. But good luck if you want millions. Uh, be careful what you wish for. Because you will get it. Why is the gravity really weird now? I think I screwed up the whole game now. Let's look at the version control. What did I do? What everything have I changed since we started? I think there's so much change that... Scripts... Yeah, there's so much. Oh there is so much. Hmm. I have to look at this at a later date and figure it out. It's even weird that the gravity right now is like really slow. Uh, there's a lot of things I'd like to work on which would take incredible amounts of time and commitment, which makes them really hard things to do when you have a day job. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly what we're going through. I think Garage said that in chat too, yeah. That's why you have to keep a small scope. If you're working in part time, if you're going to school, doing other stuff, smaller games. Don't do my multiplayer RPG MMO games. And you need to anyway have a hundred people team to do that. You know, it's in Illinois specifically. Control Z it then. The thing is, I don't know which part of it. I don't want to control Z everything. That would be like, oh, let's waste five hours of work. 
But yeah, I would have to figure it out. It takes some time. Sometimes when you uncomment stuff, you'll find stuff. It's very weird though. Very weird, very weird. Keep trying, keep developing, keep practicing. Oh, now it works from that side, but not the other one. It's very weird. Let's look at what we did in the collision script. Maybe it's something there. I wonder if we now, because we are setting the X and Y. If we can just put this back, see if it still works because we did that to fix some weird buggy stuff we have. Now that still works, and now it works. No, but it was only from up top, so it's just seeing it as grounded. But hmm. Like almost like it's not doing this. Very interesting. Could be if we're applying the jump too late. So what if we apply it in the begin update character? So we would apply it here. Okay now it, okay now it flies. Yeah, so that was the problem. We'll now work with them. Um, this will probably still go through here now. Yeah. So we need there. So it's nothing, it's just the jump that happens too late. Then again, we don't want the jump actually. So we need to now actually do something. We need, because the jump, if not grounded, then. changing here stuff that we shouldn't be changing anymore. Let's take all of this and put it in here. Now there's just jumping here. And then we no, it's getting too messy. Put it back here. Let's leave it. The other thing we needed to do was um, in um, collision. Let's enable this again. And now I think we can use X and Y. 
Uh, anyway, I gotta get to bed, have a nice stream, and have a good time, so, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Lieto. See you around. Later. Well, this game's full of messed up spaghetti code everywhere. Exactly. That is what the coding is for. Oh, now we have this stuff. Who enabled rotation? It will uh, slowly get the defactor, factor, refactor. Um, let's see here. That's the, one of the mind spots of game makers that it's easy to create spaghetti code. Let's see here. Let's see here, begin update, update character, we added the rotation, which we didn't want to right now. Huh? Slight bug there where it jumped, Let's see if this Kind of works. So now what we need to do instead is like if grounded, let's try it just fast. Like it says, if if you're actually grounded, then what you do is uh, we take with grounded ground object. I think it's called, and then we do. Uh, mm, Other dot vertical speed is equals vertical speed. Oh. Yep, we gotta refactor it again to get rid of a lot of the spaghetti code. But this is, again, people focus on that are really focusing on the wrong thing when you're doing a very fast prototype. late when it's happening you should check it earlier and we don't know grounded earlier we have to figure it out to get the relational and stuff like that mm. <laughs> reminds me of old school age of empires Ah, yes. Ah, yeah, he's going. Maybe make the hopping faster. He's a bit like floaty. Oh, yes, he's gonna chop it down. Chop it. Oh. <laughs> chop. <laughs> he's just leaving. Like, what? <laughs> oh, he's going for that one now. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Good work, dude. Really interesting feeling you have there. We chop down trees with our bare hands. Alright guys, I think it's time. I'm already too tired and that's why the code is just getting worse and worse. It's time to take a break, take to go to sleep. Let's go check now. Uh, we will host somebody, right? Guys, hosting? Let's see who's online on... Uh, Game dev. Who should we host, guys? Who should we host? See what kind of amazing people are online. Creative. Let's see here. Game developer. What kind of game developer people are online? Oh, William Chur is online. We should return the favor to him and host him because he's amazing. So, uh, for people who haven't seen William Chur, he's creating a really awesome game. You should check it out, in which you will in a moment. 
and uh, thanks for stopping by. Next time we'll stream on Monday. It's gonna be our Arash uh, doing the art. So he's gonna work on concept characters to the game. And then on Tuesdays we have the game development design talks and you can also submit your games. If you're working on a game like uh, Zippy Zack, you should submit your game so we can play it live. If you get, uh, as long as you have some playable elements, we can look at it and give you feedback live. Uh, so, uh, I think Drunk Devs is not online. Um, so we will probably do Zippy Zacks. No, we will do, um, we always keep missing Drunk Devs. I think he's also in our time zone, so he stops early. Do join our Discord if you haven't. Uh, we'll, we can, we're online there almost 24-7, except when we're sleeping. And there's other people too who can help you when you're sleeping. So, uh, thanks for following, thanks for being here. And um, go check out William Churz. And then until uh, I host, I will dance.